Like, I get so triggered by you talking, because you're so dumb. Yeah, you get really worked up pretty easily. Maybe you should just, like, take a break for it. Maybe you should just, like... Hi, Sneeko. Oh, oh it's Liko. Welcome. Yo. Hey, what's up, buddy? Melina, baby, I'm sorry. You know, I never should have gone off on you like that. You're a queen. You know, you're beautiful. I'm so, I'm so sorry, queen. If you ever get really, really desperate, you know, hit me up. I'll be here. Nice. No, she's not actually sorry. She's not actually sorry. She called you a dumb whore multiple times. Multiple times and made fun of your sexual partners. She's not actually sorry. Stop talking! Why was my ex-fiance in this call with you late at night last night, Steven? Okay, so I know that it looked weird, but um, you do know that in Discord, other people can change their names to look like other people, right? I, I can see the Discord channel as well. I can click the name, Steven. Yeah, but how do you know that was me? What do you fuck? They can't change your, the hashtag. You, did you actually check? Do you even wait? Wait, what wait, wait, wait. Raise news? your hands right now. What's my hashtag at the end? Zero, 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 0005. Yeah, you checked. You just checked right now. I know you did. No, I didn't. You did. No, I didn't. I'm not quick right now. I'm not quick. I'm a little inebriated. So, no answer. Okay. Keeping it silent. Why are you asking? Ask Sejin. He was in here too. Damn. I know all about that guy. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> I know all about that guy, and I could ask him, but he's not here presently. Oh, what about that guy? Tell us, what do you know about him? Oh, you're just trying to move it on from my question to you, no, I'm not which moving. was, what was going on in here? Uh -oh. What about this guy? Oh, Cision. Oh. Oh, you want to show your face, huh? He's here. <laughs> so what were you doing last night for four was... hours? Wait, why don't you just ask her? How about I ask you, buddy? Because it's your girlfriend? Hello? Uh, but you're my person involved. <laughs> it's pretty so, misogynistic of you to like just not go to your partner for information and just assume the you. worst. Why do you assume that I'm assuming the worst? Because you're confronting people. I don't. I could have assumed that you had a party. I just wanted to know if you had a party. I just want is to that, know. Is that what your tone is insinuating right now, Darius? Are you that My insecure? My tone right now is insinuating a question. And if you're taking anything from that, then maybe you have some trauma in your life that's caused you to feel this way. <laughs> Do you think? What possible trauma would I have that would He's just laughing you, you off, Darius. He's not even taking this shit seriously. That's what I'm saying. That's how I'm like, I'm noticing it and I just... <laughs> Do you think he's, he's like intentionally to... doing it to like try to evade the I question? I think so. You did the same. You did the well, same no, 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 thing. No, 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 no. This isn't about me. This is about him. No, you're, this is both, about him. you're both dodging the question. This is about him right now. Okay. You know, on TikTok, there's a trend where they do phone trains now. So oh, they, we talked about how so you you, have... uh, you messaged Sushi last night that she got banned on TikTok. Wait, did she? Why do you know that? Yeah, how do you know that? You messaged her while we were talking, and she checked. Are you doing Ooh. like a thing where you're like, oh yeah, like me and her and I saw you text her? Like, is that what you're trying to do to me right now? Or are you doing like a... It's kind of what it sounds like. like. What, that's what, what I heard. That's what I'm hearing from Session right now. Uh, I know, that's tooting my horn. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. So anyway, what was the topic of conversation? I'd love to know. Uh, I don't think she wants those details out there. Oh. Ooh. So here's the thing. This is like, I don't even know if this is like a half joke or not even a joke Ooh. anymore. Because like, I was a joke at first, but now I'm actually, <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm genuinely curious. Now I'm actually, I'm curious. <coughs> hmm. Maybe I shall ask. Maybe I shall ask. Maybe you should. You guys, do, do you guys do that often with females in this Discord? Do what? Just have them in here with you two. First of all, I was just doing my emails and then people started popping in. I forgot I didn't leave Discord for the night, okay? Yeah. I'm not normally in here. People can tell because the chat was open. You could see I'm not normally in here. Okay? Even. What? Yeah, I, I, I would need you to mute the stream. <laughs> what? What does that mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to need you to mute the stream. <laughs> what is happening? Uh, okay, hold on.
the stream. Okay, we're unmuted. <laughs> we're unmuted. I don't know anything about any of you that. Don't know I don't know what is going on with that. Go, go back to talking to Sejin, okay? Talk to him. Already happened. In, in, no, 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 no. Talk to talk to talk to Sejin. He wants to. Why check. are we playing Tom and Jerry, Steve? <laughs> I don't. I don't. Why are we playing Tom and I Jerry? I don't know. Why, I don't know what. This? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that's all about, or what you're even <laughs> referencing right now. I'm not even sure what you're talking Intrig about. Intriguing. Yeah. Intriguing. So ask. Talk to Sejin. I already know all about Sejin. Ooh. I'm just not saying him fumble. Hmm. Everybody knows all There's about a, Oh, Sejin. Tabor. I thought it was Sushi. That would have been lit. You been think lit. that would have been lit? I just, I just a drama whore. That would not have been lit. What would happen if Sushi joined right now? You would just both leave. Isn't that what you always do? Not anymore. Nah, they'd spurg out for like 30 minutes for attention. Daddy's got new Doc Martens. Tabor, are you sick? Yeah, I have a sinus infection. Oh my god, he's got COVID. One million percent. I tested. I do not. <laughs> Test D's. What's your spring training, Tabor? Go back to the drama. <laughs> I didn't come here to talk. I came here to listen to the muted sections. <laughs> Why? This little Toho guy is in here. I think... He's a tier 5 sub. He's yes. bought his way into the drama. He's got a right to be He could be recording this. He seems like he's like, he seems like this is like a calm fest for you, though. That'd be like fun. You're like, it's tier 4, tier 5. Holy shit. Dude, and I got the like, quick shot launch plugged in right now. You have no idea. Like a combo is muted. That's probably like, shit, dude. Like, that's the thing I know. Not, the chatters don't know that. Got the Astro Glide all over it. Damn. I can see that. I yep. can see that. But like, so what's 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 talk? I'm assuming we're not gonna have this conversation then, because I'm I'm very curious. I'm very curious. But maybe uh, maybe uh, my curiosity is gonna have to kill something. Is the cat? Is what it is. Curiosity killed the cat. Yeah, ask Sejin. He seems like he's he's the man with the plan. He knows what's going on. No, 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 no. I, what do you mean? I, no, are you afraid of the truth? Do you know what a phone train is? A phone train? Do you mean like TikTok. when you play the game telephone? Nah, it's when you have a train on a girl, but through the phone. So you do like Discord e-sex where she's like moaning and you're like moaning as well. But okay, then hold up. You, Stop. You, no. I'm she, saying, no, that did not happen. She's Relax. climaxing. And as he's climaxing, <laughs> you give her to the next guy and then it ends the phone and or Discord channel. Jesus it happens in a lot nice. of fetish discords. Jesus Christ. Yeah, a lot of women in Discord unironically <laughs> like to be used like that. It's something like I'm like the flyest guy in those Discords though. So I, I like I like it. I'm like the cool like all of them are weird as fuck. But I'm like, I'm not weird. I'm just fucking fly as shit. Um but they're they're it's fun. It's an interesting time. Okay. Cool. Good to know. I'll cool. buy you the one, dude. It'll be sick. Yeah, just let me know when the next one's going on and I'll definitely join. Or maybe We'll have to delete those messages <laughs> after, huh? What do you mean by that? Why would you do that? Steven. <laughs> I don't know what... You gotta talk to Session, dude. <laughs> Why me? No, stop. Session, what do you know that I don't know? I think... No, we didn't talk about anything you probably don't know. Oh, so they talked about something. <laughs> That's what that oh, means, right? They talked about oh, something. What did they talk about? Is it something deep? Is no. it something <laughs> interesting? Deep. I just I don't know anything about Susha, so I was getting I was she was catching up on me on up how Dude, she met you, Steven and yeah, how you she met you. How many how many people do you usually do that with that are um, mm. of the male gender in this Discord? Mm. Yikes. Not a good look. I can't think question. of one, I'll tell you that much, because I look at this Discord and Steven goes off. I think maybe I'd pop in and I don't see you but I see female in there she's vulnerable <laughs> you just got out of a relationship you're like wait. a quasi guy you talk to the d-man the d-man he's cool she wait, comes are, the are you guys still together we're no, I don't know why you're on my dick asking questions right now when you're in the hot seat that's really weird how you turn it around huh 
I need to ask a question that's on everybody's mind since the breakup. Is the video still up on Pornhub? Yeah, they're all up. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Sejin knows a lot here. Darius, what the f*** is going on? Is, no, I, He's I a lore master of Sushi and Darius. a lot more. A lot more than just the knowing. <gasps> more than the Sejin, knowing. Just, just cough it up. I don't know what you're asking me. Dude, Ask a question. Like I can't intimidate. I don't know how to verbally intimidate you, but I like I physically can intimidate you right now with like my finger movements and stuff along those lines. So I don't know how to do this over the phone. Like how do I, how do I strike fear in you? Finger movement. Sorry, can you elaborate? What do you mean by finger movements? Like you give like a, someone like a like you make a fist, you ball a fist at him and wag it or some shit. You know what I mean? Are you threatening me? I'm not <laughs> okay. threatening you. I'm just trying to intimidate you. <laughs> What's the difference? So I'm not getting anything out of you in the next. I feel like we're going to do this for 30 minutes and I can't. Good question. Maybe you guys are destined to do this dance forever. Like the Joker. And <laughs> Am I vulnerable because I'm a female? So Straighter Aid. I bet Sejin was real interested in Straighter Aid. I've seen Sejin in here talk to Straighter Aid more than I've seen him talk to anyone else, actually. Uh, and that's a female. <clears throat> so just thinking about it, Sejin. I just I just don't think you're as interested in uh, her as a you know a person as much as you kind of let on a little bit ago. What? Okay. <laughs> I don't understand that sentence. Say it again. I think I think you saw a vulnerable female in Discord and you thought time to use. Why? My what power. makes what makes Sushi? A, we'll start with Sushi and then we'll just straight right after. Why makes Sushi a vulnerable? That she recently got out of a relationship. Uh, she's. I don't think she has. She. You Ooh, don't think she's... Darius getting called the f out. Are you on a fake breakup right now? We're on that little dude. So you're gonna turn it on me, huh? After, after you <laughs> wanted to say it, you haven't said a drop of anything, and now you're doing it again. What? Well, I'm I, and again, what's happening? Sejan is, is now, accusing you of. Drama for I've me. gotten absolutely nothing, but every time you guys are like mm, Darius and I want to give it because I'm like, okay, I feel like it should be reciprocated, but I'm not getting anything. Therefore, I don't give. So, your answer is no comment. Wow. The answer is fake drama. Good job. Ooh. Next question, please. Says, says you. Says, says you. Right. you. He says. What makes Straighter Aid vulnerable? Are you just assuming that she's vulnerable because she's a woman? I didn't say she was vulnerable. Well, you said <laughs> you said that I went in because there's a vulnerable woman. You're kind of yeah. ass assuming that I only go after vulnerable women there. Well, I'm talking about sushi. Okay. Well, we have determined that she's not. Hello. Who's oh, this? she's about to turn on camera. No way. Why do you do that? What up, Aaron? Dude, you scared her off. Fuck you, dude. God, dude, I hate you even more now. Like you made like you made yourself worse of a character to me the last like three days than ever. Ooh. What? Wait, Darius, did he scare me off? Or am I vulnerable? No, Sejin or did, did he Sejin prey did upon me? Did. I know, but you were saying that he was preying upon me because I'm vulnerable, but now he is like scaring me off. Like what which is it? Oh well now he's like getting called out, so now he's like super uncomfortable. So now he's like he's Wait, called out for what? What did he do? Yeah, what's he getting called out for? Darius? This is going too long. Can we just talk to little Toho? Oh, oh running away. Like no, a little scared away. boy. You guys never entered. You guys are just like, how can I flip this on the D guy? And it's not oh, Destiny man. this time. So, little <clears throat> Toho, talk to that guy. No, Wait, you know, don't worry about me. I'm, I'm just chilling. He's chilling. Come on, Darius, speak up. Ooh. Say something with your chest out. Puff Ooh. up your chest. Nothing's actually something. gonna happen. No, no, Come on! Nothing's actually gonna happen. Oh my God. Gonna fingers, butt, and you're not gonna say jack butt. So when you both aren't gonna say jack butt, I have nothing to build off of. Wait, Therefore, are you talking to me? Wait, say it about yes, what? both of you. I'm not doing anything. I'm just chilling. No, I asked a question. And What'd you, you ask? It. We were muted and we asked about it. <laughs> And you didn't answer I don't know anything it. about that. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know what you're. You're literally gaffing. Why are you lying to me? Why I don't know what that me? means. Why are you lying? Why are you fibbing? <laughs> Why you can't just say no? I, you're literally laughing. You. Okay. I'm not. 
doing anything right now. I'm just trying. I just want to play factory. I just want to build my factory, man. God damn it. God damn it. You're you're fucking funny. Wow, guys. Productive call. Well, um. Get that. Got everything off your chest there, Darius. Darius, this guy's like poking you and prodding you, dude. Hard. Are you okay with that? How are you gonna let Book Smarts 2.0 poke and prod you like that? Come on, dog. Thought you were half black. Oof. He might be Ooh. half black, is, but he's 100% bitch. <laughs> Damn. Come on, nigga, let's go. Yeah, c yeah, go. <laughs> Go Darius, get him, Darius. Who's giving you the pass to be uh, kicking me while I'm down? What? What? What's up? Sejin is giving you a pass to be mean. You should take it. Me be mean to Sejin? Say to something. To let it all out. I'm not gonna fucking be mean. To, what am I gonna say to him? I don't know what the fuck to say to him. I'm just trying to ask a fucking question and get an answer. What do you want me to, what do you want me to nah, say? Nah, you came in here hot making accusations. Don't back down now. Come on. What accusation oh, did I make? Oh, Jesus you, Christ. First, you made the accusation about Destiny, and now you're accusing me of preying on your girlfriend. Come Ooh. on, let's go. Hey, it's my complicated situation. It's not my girlfriend. Oh, yeah. she's not your girlfriend? No. So, I think I'm saying too much. It's getting too on me now, and I have to turn the tables, but I don't I don't know how to turn the tables. I have a lot of moves, and there's too many eyeballs now. There's too many people in the, uh, the voice call. So well, I think you know what? Best, you came in here unprepared. Move? You came no. out in here with loose accusations. I, no, I came here prepared, but then you guys said Stonewall, <laughs> and this is your fucking thing. This is your fucking thing. So I have to think about a way to uh, combat that. So... Let me think of a way to combat that, and then I'll be back in here. You're trapped in my Mangekio Sharingan. That's right. Weeb oh, reference just Jesus for you, buddy. Jesus Christ. Darius, holy shit. You're actually done. Are you going to let him out-weeb you like that, Darius? Darius, Here's it's over for you. Do you, you understand? Sword, Darius. I thought that you knew a lot about Naruto, but you you don't. You don't know anything. You just got destroyed. Darius literally jacks off to VR like weeaboo anime girls. Oh. Like he's a bigger weeb. Yeah, but I, apparently I it's not enough. The... He didn't even have a counter jutsu thing. Cause this is real life, Steve. <laughs> he's, he's done. This isn't anime anymore. This is my life, and I can't play these games anymore, Steve. That's why. Wait, did he leave? Is he on the depressive part of a manic depressive episode? No, he just on here. It's just cosplaying Sasuke. Jesus, he guys. escaped into the night. All right, bye y'all. Bye. All right, take care, loser. Got him. Damn. Hate to see her go. Do you? Love to watch her leave. You know what I mean? What do you mean by that? Did you say love He's to that. watch your leave? He just make a sexist comment about my friend Aaron. Oof. You're not gonna like what he tells Sushi tonight, Darius. So you guys aren't gonna give me an answer to my question previously. Correct? Let's ask it's it. Like the private one. Oh, that's up to Steven. Oh, you guys are. You guys are Crazy guys, you guys are crazy fellas. What was your question? So you're fucking beeswax nosy supreme. Ooh. You're asking on a public yeah. stream. Then don't be mad for not answering it. Don't forget the Destiny's only available in public, so it's like. Oh, that, oh, him. Okay. Ooh. Why do you care so much? Ooh. Uh, do you want me to go into like a backstory of my life for you on a public stream? No, thanks, bro. Well, you're separated from the person, so why does it matter? Oof. I'm separated from the person, so why does it matter? Oh, it's such an insightful thing, you virgin. Shut the fuck up, bro. You don't know shit. Hey, don't virgin shame. That's hey. fucked up. You know, some people are just late bloomers. I have my reasons for needing to know things. Just know that. Yeah, because all... you're a liar. Oof. Oh, Damn. Dude, I swear to God. Damn. I wish I was 
Georgia and just gave you an atomic wedgie. Dude, just take watch. him out. Yeah. Take him out, Darius. Take him out right now. Don't let him get away with that shit. I can't do. You can't verbally. You can't verbally do it. Just you take him out, dude. Tell him what's up. Say it. Tell him what's up. Shame him on stream. I don't need to tell him what's up. We already know what Session did. We already know what Session did. Sounds like, like he stole your. What girl. did I do? Like the little simp he is. What did it I do? Sounds like Session stole your girl, and now you're mad that he's. Get another person. I didn't hear a word Rachel says because it sounds like he's mumbling in his mic and he's in his fucking like kid's room or something, dude. It's I can't hear a word you're saying, bro. I, Say it again. Okay. I just put you up. I just put you up. Say it again. I was gonna say it sounds like he's stealing your girl and fucking her in front of the entire world, and you're just sitting there taking it like gross score. Jesus, yikes! I hear saliva from your mouth at the end of that sentence when I turned you up, and I didn't like that, so I'm gonna put you back down. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my fucking god! Jesus Christ! Darius, are you okay? With what? With what he just did to you? Uh, he lyrical lemonaded me, man. I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. He's, Dude, he's it's been like back. three hours. You're still trapped in my Magekyo. Can't, can't figure out juicy oh, no. to get out. Oh my god, dude! He did it. He did the fucking Naruto oh, shit. Can you bring? At least speak properly, bro. Come on. What do you mean speak properly, okay, bro? That's well, his language. What are you talking about? Okay, we're not getting. Is it actually? Yes. That's Mandarin, right? Why do I hear like spot music in the background? Oh, you hear PlayStation? Yeah, what is that? I was playing some PlayStation. What are you playing? Uh, I wanted to get into Star Wars, so I played this Last Jedi game, oh. but I, I don't like Star Wars. It's very, it's I, I actually, the franchise is so boring. I played the uh, Force Unleashed as a kid and it was cool on Xbox 360. But, uh, and, uh, what it's called Battlefield or Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront, everyone played that on their PC. Mm -hmm. Uh, I played that a lot. Uh, but what like, was the Star latest Wars one that came out with, uh, Cal Kestis or whatever? Jedi fucking something. Uh, Jedi Fallen Order. That's when I was just that's, playing. That's the one. Ah, oh, that game actually got me into Star Wars when, like, really? I thought it was, thought so it was cool. And I literally, I just, I, I have it idle right now because it was so fucking corny. But, How far into it are you? What? How far into it are you? I just got to the island thing, like the green after you go on the train. It's oh, literally okay. the first like five seconds. I it's like it's was, just. I thought though. the game was really cool. Yeah, Darius. And I, I like don't give a fuck about Star Wars. Why are you such a fucking hater? Yeah, Darius. Me, it's just so boring. I just get so bored. It's like watching Renaissance era stuff. It's just so like Berserk is the only anime I ever watch. Actually, Ranking of Kings was good. That was like Renaissance era type stuff. But like those two things, they keep it interesting. But like that whole time period, that knights crap and like anything related to like future, like like uh, spaceships and crap is corny, except for a Blade Runner. Corny, damn. He said it. It is. It is. I'm just not. I don't know if I'm just not imaginative or not, but I just don't like it. I like. I like uh, something you can relate to. You know what I mean? Like I'm from. I'm from the inner city. Like uh, like Mike was our favorite movie. You ever watch that movie? Nope. It was about a kid who took who wore shoes and he became like Michael Jordan. And that's like that's fantasy that I can grip to because it's like my culture, you know what I mean? Basketball, black. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Uh I mean like that's just like that's good that's Kino. That's all I'm trying to say. So if you had to like give an elevator pitch on who Darius is, that's what you'd lead with. And I'm like Mike. I'm I'm Darius, black basketball. Uh no, I'd say I'm black, uh young, um, handsome. What part of being black has like uh, changed uh, who you are, or why is that like the most defining portion of uh, who you are? As an so you can say the N word on my Discord yeah, without getting banned. Because a lot, because a lot. If you say black, like you know what experience that person had, you know, in America at least. You know what I mean? Like you don't know for no. sure, but like, if I say I'm like a black American, like it's a gen. There's a general. There's a general feel on how you're treated in America. And I, I mean, <clears throat> and I've I've had to deal with a lot of really shitty shit growing up because of it 
Are you from Baltimore or are you just living there now? Why are you assuming? I why, why did you say that from Baltimore? You said you were from Baltimore. Or no. you said you were living there now or something. I said from Maryland. Oh, okay. I'm Baltimore, Maryland. I lived in Silver Spring. I'm, I'm actually like... I'm supposed to go to Washington. Fuck. Okay. Yeah. I was living in Silver that's where, Spring. That's where Dave Chappelle grew up. Yeah, and I, my, my father loved them. Like, Silver Washington. Spring is really cool. I thought about moving there. It's nice. It's more. It's much more expensive to live there now, unfortunately. There's a, there's a lot of great music. Like, there's really good jazz music there. Yeah. See, why don't you react to a video or something? Uh, did you see Ice Poseidon's been streaming in Japan? Like, he just he's legit just like stole a bunch of money and he's just like he's just rocking it. Oh, you mean that's this little crazy. pop and dump? Yeah, dude, that's crazy, dude. He's just like now he's just streaming and it's like whatever, dude. Like, people are watching him. He's getting still like 4K average. He's still he's doing a subathon. He's been live nonstop for 30 days. Like, people just don't care anymore about shit. Like. Yeah, I don't think you can cancel or like get rid of anyone's career anymore. Um, like Charlie Sheen, you think Charlie Sheen got pretty fucked from his stuff? What was like, even his problem? Did he just do like crack or cocaine or what? He's like, yeah, he was like in rehab a lot. He was like he was on, he was on everything. I'm pretty sure that guy had something going. On. Damn, remember when Charlie Sheen was like the big deal of like fucked up celeb shit? Yeah, it was him and uh, what the fuck is his name? I was about to say Tom Cruise. It's not Tom Cruise. What the fuck is his name? Robert Downey Jr. Oh no, no, the guy, no, the guy that yelled at the Jew guy. Oh, no, the guy that was really mad at Jews. Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. Yeah, I, those two guys that I hear a lot about. Yeah. yeah. But now it's like you know, for internet stuff, it doesn't really fucking matter. Like Mizkiff is chilling. Just giant waffles chilling. Is Mizkiff uh, really chilling? I don't know. I mean, like he's like having like. He was moments. having some problems. I mean, not, his friends are hanging out with him. I mean, that's a good thing, right? I mean, like, his, I, he's like people in OTK are inviting him to stuff on their streams. I mean, like, I don't know. Things are relatively back to normal for him. Okay. Charlie Sheen benefited from his, like, weirdo phases. Did he? I got a Donna's blood. The tiger <laughs> blood. Yeah, the tiger blood shit. He did, like, yeah, he did, like, stage, like, spoken word things where he would, people, he would sell out arenas of people that would want to go listen to him talk, and he would just sit there and play on his phone. Remember when he ruined like, the ALS bu uh, ice bucket challenge? What? What did he do? He just, instead of doing the ice thing, he like dumped a bucket of money on his head. He's like shaming people that were not donating more money for it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. weird. Well, I mean, like, you, what you just described is not part of what his career was. His career was like acting and stuff like that. He wasn't doing that anymore. He was doing like self, like, like he was doing like rallies. From what you're saying, like that's not like you're doing well. You're just doing something different now. Oh, I guess the solo question is, stage shows, but yeah. Did he like that more than acting? Because like, I, mean, I feel like it's got to be a lot easier to show up and just talk on a stage rather than like sit there for hours being directed and everything else. I mean, I mean, probably, but he still was known for being like an actor. Like that was his gig, right? It's like if Tom Cruise randomly just started doing like, you know, like self help stuff instead of acting because he like called someone the N word. Oh, Kramer! Kramer got fucked. What do you mean? Kramer Kramer has a wonderful TV show that comes on every day where he tells me about what stonks are going up and which ones are going down. That man's career is huge. Bigly, yeah. It's Mad Money with Jim Kramer, baby. Lehman Brothers, I like the stock. Lehman Brothers is fine. No way. You know, I lost so much money doing spy options every day. That was a bad time. You did? Don't worry about it, bro. In like the past two years, are you listen? You're working with sushi, dude. I don't, I'm not telling you shit, nigga. Bruh, if you're spending money on stupid shit in the past two years, goddamn, you fucking up. You got something on your fucking mind you want to say, huh? What else? What, was, what do you mean with the past two years? What he's I know saying that you're you have financial troubles and you've been spending your money poorly in the last two years. I've been with sushi, and it sounds like you have some information that you're trying to bring up that you got something to say. Yeah, he's you're saying gonna... that you know you were taking money from sushi, and then instead of buying necessities, you were taking it and gambling on stake.com on the streams. We know, we've seen it. That's what he's saying. Did someone say that? No, that's what he's implying. That's a you're implying, you fucking monkey. I have no idea what your and sushi is relationship. I have well, no idea. Good. Well, let me instead you're talking about it. You're talking for him, nigga. Yeah, what, would exactly. you, what would you ballpark your net worth is right now? Minus 4,000. I would say more than that. 
Less than that, sorry. Forgot we're in the negatives. Wait, you're saying that? Yeah. Oh shit, she she actually like talk talk to you? Like no now I feel like you're fucking not and I know you're not joking. Now that's crazy that she did that to a stranger. Interesting. Interesting. They just want to talk around the drama. I'm telling you what the drama is and what he's saying, and you guys are just too afraid. You're circling he, the ring. He's the crowd's booing. Look, I'll, no, like, I, if he keeps provoking me, I'll keep leaking a little bit more at a time. No, yeah, like, that's your thing. Actually, backs no, off like a little coward. So so what do you no, say? Like, here's the thing. I'm like, ha- I'm like, unironically, like I, I like the context of the conversation. I literally know unironically like everything. But like, what I'm doing is like I'm doing a bit. But like when you're saying stuff like that, it's, it actually is provoking me to get unironically angry because it makes me frustrated that she's talking about my personal stuff with other people after the shit that she has unironically done to me. And she probably didn't go into detail about that. So that's why I'm like a little bit like unironically. Like that's where I'm like getting a little so steep. Uh, she's a little bit unhinged? No, she's not. <laughs> no, just that's why, that's I mean, why like, I don't, like, I, what, I, what I know. What I know is like I know I have a good understanding in an, like an actual bit way that's like a uh, like a good understanding of what's going on so i figured i didn't figure like the specifics of my stuff was up there i thought her specifics would be there so that's interesting well so i think everybody's only going to tell this yeah, yeah, everybody only tells has to do it wait what i said it's everybody only good. tells their side it's only fair that she said everything negative about you and didn't bring up the negatives that she had you know it's not really fair because what because she made because a lot of her actions everything every, unironically like a lot of shit that has happened to her is unironically on her own for like Wait, what are we talking about what's happening or caused oh, by we're talking shit. about uh you know that's why when i'm so, not now i'm not because now earlier i wasn't like actually interested but now i'm, I'm actually interested to where extent that was that you were so talking about. sedgen leaked that no, has a negative net worth because of gambling and spending money on the stock market it's not unironically what's going on that's not set the record straight tell us let us know yeah Let's drink yeah. out real Darius. No, no more character no, Darius. Because no, you know this stuff. And that's why I'm like asking you now. So like, what's the co- topic of conversation that's enough for you to mention on stream? Wait, I'm not leaking anything unless you provoke me. I, I, the most I leaked is just like, I, I just like, oh, you're in a chat room with sushi, which was like already known. Like now you're actually ironically talking about real stuff. So now I'm, I'm actually ironically interested. So like now I'm gonna I'm gonna DM you because I'm very interested because I don't that will decide on how I act. Nah. Okay, that's fine. Nah. I don't know, Darius. Why don't you share share some stuff with the class? You know, what are we missing out of this conversation? What was the worst thing that happened to you? And what? In the last two years. Jesus. Oh, did you see our Tekken set? That's got to be up there. True. <laughs> Uh, how's your Tekken gameplay, Darius? Have you uh, improved at all, or did you quit that one too? Man, you guys are cooking them. You think I could go to jail for cyberbullying? Because <laughs> I wonder, because I wonder, unironically, because I wonder if the reason why you now you decided to help her and everything like that is because she just gave you a bunch of sob shit. And wasn't like unironically talking about like this awful. Now she owned up to a lot like, of mistakes. No, 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 because it's not. Like, you about to do that too? Here, here, no, here's a sushi mistake. Here's an unironic like version of a sushi mistake. Like, yeah, like fucked up where I went. Like, it's like, like, oh yeah, I just fucked up here or whatever like that. But it's like unironically, like my mental like state is like, un- un- like really, really, really fucked. Like there was a there was an unironic like, like time where like I I like couldn't like. Like it's like I'm like I have to be I have to be real now. So now it's like it, it's uh it's personal. So now I'm unironically bothered. So I don't think I can uh have this conversation and not get emotional. But like it's that's just fair. like that's when you say, like you, you don't you don't you genuinely do not understand the extent to which I was like actually mentally fucked. Um and it's like her saying she owned up to it is not not it's not even a fraction. Like I have like like. Like, you know, you have to understand how, like, like it's, like, so embarrassing for me to, because, like, I know, because I don't, it's, never mind, never mind. Oh, yeah, I it's okay to not want to talk about it. 
It's you have the right to remain silent. That is yeah, your right. Probably isn't the place, right? Wow. So how's the weather? Wow. It's uh. How's it going, guys? Did you see the menu? Yep. Steven? I sure did. You asked me about it the other other day, I think, right? Uh, What'd you yeah. think? I thought it was pretty cute. I don't think it was like amazing. Some people, it's like, it's so amazing. I think Melina really liked it. I thought it was okay. Yeah, I thought it was... Uh, I like movies like that. Okay. You know? Kind of like uh, movies that, that just make you anxious. Like, oh god, what the fuck is going to happen next? I thought they did a really good job creating the suspense and the anxiety and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like uh, pretty uncomfortable about each new thing that was happening. Yep, that's about all there is to say about that. As much as I try to make that movie out to be like deeper or more interesting than it was, I I failed. Yeah, I just kept coming up with like silly plot holes. Why the fuck was the lady, the the old man who was seeing the prostitutes or whatever, like his wife? Why did she deserve to die? What the hell? What did she do? What? She couldn't remember a dish or something like that. She thought fucking halibut was cod. So she deserves to die? Um, oh dude, you're, I'm drawing, reaching really, really hard here. But um, did she know that her husband was cheating and she just kind of got confirmation of it? Because if she kind of knew, then I imagine her punishment would have been like engaging in self-deception to maintain like a nice lifestyle. Hmm. Hmm. If she knew though, but I don't even remember if she kind of knew and she just got confirmation or what. That'd be my guess. But I thought that was real. I was like debate broing the chef in my head like through the whole thing. You know who the chef actually really reminded me of? <laughs> what? Who? Oh boy. At Max. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Just like refusing to see the other side of things and like making everybody feel like shit for all the perceived slights and stuff. Wow. Like I feel like there's a perfectly rational explanation. Like you made that fucking kid kill himself for the sin of like appreciating the fuck out of everything that guy ever did, but not being able to do it himself, but still loving the guy for being- Wait, like, hold on, stop. No, don't do this. Hold on. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, he condemned that chick to death. Sure, but that's no, not- No, wait, that was a really shallow understanding him. of what happened. My understanding at least, or we can compare. You're not that dumb. Mm -hmm. The Go my understanding it. is the problem was that even he ha he had like this pretentious like shallow appreciation. I thought that was like the feeling that was trying to be conveyed. Like he seems like he appreciates everything so much, but I don't know if it was more just like a weird obsessive type of thing, but it was a pretentious shallow type of appreciation. So like when tasked with the ability to like reproduce a dish, he literally couldn't do it. He's like a guy that sits there and screams at like uh, Master Chef all day about how he could be a better cook and he knows this and that, blah, blah, blah. But like given the opportunity to make a fucking stew, like what does he do? He chooses like the most stereotype, like scallops and like charlottes or whatever the fuck or the things. And he's like, oh, this is my dish. And he has no idea what he's doing. He's, he's just got like a shallow pretentious engagement with everything. That's like my understanding. Man, no, I like, I feel like he demonstrates through the whole movie that he like, he learns, well, he appreciates everything that the chef does. And like, whatever the chef says, he watches all this guy's shows or whatever. And he just geeks out about like, this guy's a genius. Whatever he makes is great. Mm -hmm. uh, and like, he's going to try and teach me like how to appreciate this stuff. And I think that I can. I feel like that's, and the whole thing about him not being able to create it is, is like the chef throwing in his face, you think you understand this thing, but you couldn't create it. It's the distinction between being able to consume something and being able to create something, the eaters versus the makers or whatever. Hmm. I don't think it was necessarily that he had a shallow engagement with it. It's that his engagement with it was on the consumption end and not the creative end. Well, I feel like that's kind of another way to say like shallow engagement, no? Or do you not agree? No, I think that, no, I think that critique can be deep but that doesn't necessarily mean that you can be good at creating. I think these are two sides of like, these are two sides that need to exist. This was my beef with his, uh, his contention with the, the critic lady who was like ending all these restaurants or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like the critique side needs to exist so long as there's a creative side. And so long that anybody perceives it as like a competitive or, or like a value. Well, yeah, I, like, I'll agree with you like in the real world. But I don't think they're going for like, this is like the real world, we need critics. I think it's more, um, what's that fucking, there's some fucking quote where it's like, um, it's some edgy quote of like, the critic doesn't spend his day in the fucking gladiator arena. It's like the actual person who dares to create. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. like, it's like I, that I idea that like people that just needlessly nitpick and needle an edge from the side or whatever. Um, there's a, there's that quote in Birdman where, um, 
uh, is it fucking, what's his name? Oh, I can't remember. Michael Keaton goes up to the critic lady and he says, we fucking spill our guts on stage and you risk nothing. Like, we risk everything and you risk nothing. Yeah, mm-hmm. sure. I think we can draw a distinction. There's certainly a disparity here. But, but I still think that, like, if you're putting things into the world, then, it, like, you're begging for it to be critiqued. Like, whether you want people to think it's good or it's, you know, bad or whatever. Sure, but I mean, like, <laughs> these are professional backseaters, okay? Welcome. Sushi, why do you keep all... joining and leaving? What are you doing? She's doing a little trolling. Oh, my fucking God. It's the same thing as the meow. I don't know. Just attention seeking behavior. Well. Well. Or fucking, you know what else? Tris trying to listen because she's at work. Oh, you know she's at work. Wait, yeah, she works why, nights. Why can she join? Oh, you Discord, know her work schedule. Not... Why can she join Discord but not turn a stream on? That doesn't make any sense. Well, probably because Discord. Is you think you're so down. fucking funny, Session? You think you're so fucking funny? You think you're such a fucking prankster, all you little fucking nerd? You okay, buddy? Well, clearly not. I think you, you should be worried. You pretty upset earlier, and now you're making jokes about his uh, potentially ex working nights. It's pretty fucked up. Wait, the music's what? going up. I don't know. Normal if you know people what that work does night shifts. I'm not implying oh, anything yeah. ridiculous. I'm just gonna let that one hang. We're hanging now? Uh, I guess I kind of want some clarification on this. Like, do we, do you think that, well, do you think that that's a different skill set that there can be a skill set in consumption? Well, yeah, of course. This is like asking, like, okay. if you can teach, can you do? Like, these are all different skill sets, of course. I'm not going to disagree with you there. It was just over the point of the movie. Oh, yeah. Sejun, so why did you make that comment about Darius's ex future wife? <laughs> Wait, what? He's sliding in. Oh, why made. Because it's an explanation as to why she would do that. Yeah, but did you need to be the one to explain it? Who would? Well, you know, Should I just, just let hang? Flex on string. You know, gotta show stream what's up. He's not. Why do you keep joining? Why do you keep joining? Why do you keep joining? Are you talking to me? No, he's probably talking no. to Sushi. She knows I'm fucking talking to her. Am I not? Am I not allowed to be in here? Do you have this a purpose a being in here? Oh, I got pinged, so I was just seeing what's happening. Yeah, Sejin was uh, leaking Darius's uh, financial status. He said that he was in. Hold debt. on. <laughs> oh, is he DMing right now? You said he was in debt. I made a guess. Because I actually don't you know. You implied that he lost his money gambling and trading. You did kind of imply that. He said he lost well, yeah, he gambling did, he came and trading. Forward. Yeah, he said that he lost a bunch of money on options for SPY. Yeah, but I could say I lost a bunch of money on the stock market last year. That doesn't make me in debt. You saying, have you done it in the last two years? Implies that he's f***ed. Yeah, it kind of does. Oh, I man. I it implies that he's losing his f***ing. Because Sushi decided to talk to him about my personal stuff after just meeting him. Literally, I don't even know why you're mentioning my fucking life or anything going on with me to some random fuck on the fucking the internet at 10 p.m. I'm not going into random people and talking to them about your shit. So again. Why are you in this call? What is your purpose? To antagonize you, Darius, and you're playing right into it by screaming at her. I think we should hear from Sushia. Okay. 
I'm literally at work right now. I joined the call because people pinged me that you were being upset, but I was just asking him for financial advice. He seemed like a smart guy. I don't know. What does it have to do Sorry. with me? We have similar financial I, I don't give a, I have no, finances are very tied up together. I'm not, so. put, I'm not tied to you. I'm not tied to you. You're not talking to you. Didn't you just ask me a question? Nigga, I didn't say what? I said I'm not tied to you. Is that true, Sushi? Did you go to like Sejin and start like dumping about your ex or whatever? She no, started trauma dumping. No, you started trauma dumping. No, 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 you trauma dumped and you were like, oh, then he started helping you because he was like, oh, this girl got a lot of issues going on. And I'm Sejin. I'm, 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 I'm a cuck simp. I'm going to go ahead and help him out. Shut the fuck up, nigga. That's what you do with literally every male friend you ever had on the internet. Okay. Well, that's not what I was trying to do. I was just talking about some stuff and then he asked me some more questions i was just explaining to him the situation and he was trying to help me find solutions and it wasn't that i was like trauma dumping to him to try to get him to help me he was just asking me and hog. Me hog yep So, like, I don't know. I mean, you know that Sejin is sort of in this orbit or in this community, in this small circle or whatever. Like, did you did you just start, like, dumping on somebody else that you know is going to be in the small circle, like Darius, to this person? You say dumping? Or, like, spreading info about just, his private life. I just said that I was in debt, and then he was asking me questions about my debt. And so I was explaining the situation because he was confused about how I had a debt. Okay, well, you're sorry talking about my stuff. It has nothing related to you. Completely separate thing. It's pretty similar, related, man. Similar situation. It's not because I don't fucking have. I have to remind myself. Maybe I have he to could help you myself. out too, man. Maybe I he have could to help you myself. out. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Is sushi in like a bad place because of some of your actions, Darius? Like, do you? Is there some culpability you have and like some mm -hmm. negative stuff that sushi's experiencing? Yeah, but it does not deserve even an ounce of the amount of disrespect that Sushi has given me. Well, I mean, don't you kind of have to own that if that's true? Like, isn't it kind of fair oh, for her to, to, like, point the finger at you if you're responsible for something that she's suffering? That It doesn't matter. I'm not pointing the finger at anybody. I'm not pointing the finger at anybody. I wasn't trying to. I didn't realize what? that anything was going to be made public. I'm sorry. I was talking about my situation to and try like, to get oh. advice. Why do I you wasn't have... doing anything to be malicious, okay? I like unironically, I'm trying not to like put you on blast. How do you have, even have the courage right now to be in here and like actually respond? Okay. Like how do you? After that, after they shoot you, then like how do you unironically like want to do this right now? I, I don't really care. I didn't know what was going on in this call. I just because oh. people were pinging me. I'm sorry, that's my beat. Well, I'll just leave. I don't really deal? care that much at all. Well, Darius, is there anything you want us to know? Yeah, this is your chance or to put this leaving? little twerp on blast. <laughs> yeah, or if you want to leave it, that was a good time too. Nah. Session, is there anything you want to add? Steven, do you find it? Do you find it like? Let's say you have a common trend where you talk to people that have talked to Melina or whatever, and then you find out that they know a lot more about you than you thought because Melina decides to like tr trauma dump all their shit related to you onto them, and then like you're just like, oh wow, I didn't even know you knew about this shit. Does that happen like at all? And you have mutual friends, right? Um, I told her not to do it, but I don't care. If she does it, I just told her like, if you do that, all your friends are gonna f hate me. So that's on you if they all hate me. I don't give a f figure your shit out. You don't give a fuck. You're so. F Base, dude. I wish I didn't give a. F that's just so annoying. I'm just like, dude. Why do you even have the like audacity, like the ability, like why would you like, like the ability, like I, I, I. The only time I've ever, unironically, I talk about Sushi's mental health issues and like how to like repair them and like how to try to have conversations about her, her independent issues with like 
with with Mel during the time and like we were they were we were like some weird thing during that time period. So it's like a completely different scenario. But it's like I feel like just women in general when they're with their partners just having a, the ability to just like go off like on their partners to other people so easily and i'm just like maybe it's like a thing where it's like it's like a part of toxic masculinity where we don't like talk about our issues enough or something but it's like it's just so like the amount of times i'm like hanging out with like with 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 girls that are in relationships and they just go off like about like the psychology of their partners it's just it seems like a bit much yeah, I mean, I agree. I think the better hey, question is not... you need to relax. We only talked about money. I, I think the curious... The better I, question is, like, what do you think the, is the... You're right not the thing? only person in existence, you f***ing tar! Did you get the f***ing hit? It's, a, it's obviously a bigger issue, you monkey! No, Sejin's a leaker. He's a huge leaker. And he's an instigator. He said what he did because he knew he was going to get a reaction out of you. That's the question I want clarification on. It's not what, how you would react if Melina did it. What do you think is the right thing to do in that situation, or what do you think is fair? Oh, well, th there's, there's one correct answer to this, and anybody that disagrees just isn't old enough or doesn't have the experience yet. You should not speak negatively about your partner to your friends, ever. You should have one person that you use to vent about relationship trouble, and that's it. If you start talking True. negatively about your partner to friends, whether you know it or not, what will happen is, is your friends will all grow to hate your partner, and you won't realize why. You won't think it'll happen because you like your partner most of the time and you just vent about problems, but your friends will grow to hate your partner. It is inevitable, it will happen, and as soon as you run into a serious problem in the future, all of your friends will say, yo, you need to dump that motherfucker, he's bad for you, and you'll be confused. You'll be like, well, what do you mean? Our relationship's mostly good, but the only thing in their mind is gonna be every negative thing that you've ever told them. You should not get make it a habit to vent to your partners, I'm sorry, to vent to your friends about your partner. That's a horrible, horrible, horrible um, habit. But a lot of people will do it anyway, so fuck. Yeah, I've noticed fucking legitimately, like, very much mutual friends of ours, me, have had, like, the, the most weird fucking opinions of me and what's going on based on things that have been said. And I'm just like, dude, or they have, like, these negative things about me already said based on, like, situations that are just given by this, like, one-sided, incredibly dramatic, like, me, 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 me viewpoint. Like, even, like, when fucking, like, not to be too, like, Person, like even Mel would talk about shit with you. Like I think even in those conversations, like I'm trying to be like charitable on your side or whatever. But I know there's a majority of people that hear that shit and people that are also my friends that are just like, okay, like she's just venting and I'm just listening to this chick vent and then I'm just gonna tell her to go off this. And I feel like it causes so many fucking issues. I mean, again, it, it just depends on again like what your expectations are. I understand how it works. Like I've told her like, yo, if you say these people, they're gonna hate me. I don't give a fuck. If she wants to say it, she can because I don't need her friends. I don't care. But like, it is what it is. You just have to realize that that's what goes on. Do you think it's like, do you, besides just like the friend thing, what about like, like her getting, like, because when you talk to a therapist, like you do have a couples therapy, that's like so much better, right? Because like you can go, to, two people can go in, you can talk about things mutually. But when you're talking to people online, especially guys that want to fuck you most of the time, mm -hmm. or like, not guys, or guys that are just like interested in you romantically, like t telling them about this stuff is just like so not a good idea because you're getting such a like, yeah, you're gonna get a skewed perspective. I always tell that to girls when they come to me and they're like, hey, I need advice, blah, blah, blah. Like, I always say like, okay, like, I'll tell you what you wanna hear, but like, you shouldn't be asking me because I just wanna f you. So <laughs> whatever keeps you single for longer usually makes it so like, I'll always say that, but like girls will always ask for advice. It's like, it's kind of stupid to ask me, but okay. Yeah. Sejin, have you ever jerked off to Sushiya? No. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, Sejin? Yeah. <laughs> Not even once? Not even once. Let's see your let's see your computer history if you're not a pussy. Come on, share your screen. Control H. I want you to type in. <laughs> nothing Come to hide, on. nothing to fear, Sajin. You got five seconds. Come on, it didn't be that long. It shouldn't be that quick. I can do it and I can show you. I'm not showing you my link history to dox myself. Just That's type insane. in sushi. Control H and sushi. Nothing else is gonna come up there. It's not that big of a deal, Sajin. Okay, listen, dude. I listen, I know a lot of guys. Listen, I had to find out that my old friend group was jerking to my girl on the side and like a private group chat that they made. And that was like, that was sus to me and that was weird. Hearing it from you, Sejin, I'm not I'm not surprised, bro. I'm, I've been there, done that type is, you know what I mean? Like, it's okay. Just don't, don't pretend. Don't pretend. And I could tell you were joking right when you did that little thing. You're like, no, I'm serious mode. Like, nigga, you're cringe. Jesus. Corny, my dude's corny. He's out here leaking. Yeah, you're corny. <laughs>
Uh, fuck. Wait, that's really weird. They created an entire group chat to like send pictures of your partner to each other. That's really they're, they're like in their, they're like in their own little chat room and they like were just like sharing it. It was like it's fucking cringe, dude. Yeah, that's fucking insane. Okay, isn't there a line that you can draw though, Destiny? Like, check your DMs, serious. If someone's got like a black eye and some and their friend is like, well, why do you have that yeah, black eye? Yeah, you fucking like, read. You're gonna ask me questions like that. Well, what if you show up to your friend's house and you're missing half your arm because your partner chopped out? Yeah, obviously you can talk shit about that. But I'm just okay. saying that what'll happen is is women tend to complain about like a lot of little problems and they give a really wrong impression of what their relationship is like. They'll be like, oh fuck, like today, like David, like ah, oh, he does this thing where we wake up and he like ignores me sometimes and it's just irritating. I just want to hug in the morning. She might make that complaint like three or four times, thinking it's not a big deal. But in her friend's mind, they're hearing like, dude, this. This guy's a fucking asshole. Like he ignores you all the yeah. time. You never like that's the impression they start to develop. Okay, I'm asking because the advice you gave was that you should never, ever, ever talk shit about your ex, and so that's why I had not to your ask ex, your current partner. Well, no, I said I said you should have one friend that you talk to. Get like a really close friend that understands you and your situation like really well. You should always have somebody you can talk to about things. That's fine. Yeah. And then, yeah, having one friend that you talk be. about is good. So in yeah. this case, it sounds like Sushi's got some financial problem problems that are Darius's fault and if somebody All asks, ironically, like, it's not even my fault like I'm not gonna go into it but like the financial issues sushi made like a decision to move over here and then there's like a whole thing I'm not gonna go into but like it's like fuck, it's not it's like it's a joint it's not like my fault it's like she moved here and then like it's what ended up having she didn't work for like a long time and she didn't make money which is like if you want to blame like her getting into a relationship is the reason why her only fans went down Sure, I guess that's my fault. That's not really like I saw, I made her get into a relationship with me. Like it's not like it's my fault. It's like a mutual joint thing, and it's like I'm not gonna get into the specifics of everything exactly. But it's like for her, for you to not like like I feel like this is your unironic impression. I don't know if you're memeing, but like when you said that, that triggered the out of me. And then it's like, oh, dude, like she's telling you this thing, and I know how sushi talks about things, and I know how she manipulates the out of people. I don't. I don't know. I'm just trying to get the story. So it's like, so it's like, oh damn! So she talked to you about that, and suddenly you're like helping her out with her. Kids. So I don't know. She hasn't talked to me about anything. I just no, want to so, know what happened. Well, Nick, Darius, are you more concerned that she's talking to somebody, or that she's talking to somebody who's leaking uh, her your information, your personal information? No, it said she's everybody. talking to randoms. Because at that point, if you find out that, because when you're in a situation where you find out a random person knows a lot more about you than you'd expect them to, then in your mind you're thinking, "Fuck, everybody like, probably knows." Like, like when he's talking about my net worth, I'm like, "Oh, okay, now I know what the." going into and you shouldn't know my you should know sushi's you should i have nothing related to her stuff even if the the cause has like it's, it's part of our cause like going into it it's not like anything she should be telling you about with me having to do because she can just explain that in her own way like if me and sushi fucking go into a car or whatever we have a car loan in our name or whatever right like if she owns the car now like yeah it's like like i guess or or if i had to pay half the car that's like okay i owe 1500 she owes 1500 and it's like you don't have to mention my 1500 portion just say you only Oh, 1500 on the car. Expensive car. That's like a $3,000 car? No, it's not. Oh, I was thinking a $1,500 car payment. Sorry. I don't. So it's like when. Yeah. But there does come a point, right? Where, like, if you're not paying your portion and the loan, like, fucking defaults or some shit. Well, that's a completely different, it's a completely different thing, which is. But not that's the, not what's happening. It's just we're just talking about their situation because they want to vent to other people. And yeah, the like, problem okay. is who knows what's happening. But the problem is the person that's talking to somebody is probably giving a version that's probably heavily favoring their side of the events, which may or may not be completely fair, or accurate, right? Then it's being represented a certain type of way in front of the entire world. Well, now we have an opportunity to know what the situation really is, or at least to hear the other perspective. Well, you might, depending on how much more th worse things you go going, okay? I mean, we have an impression in our mind. I just feel like this is your opportunity. If if things have been put out there, there's a million opportunities. I I'll be on the internet tomorrow. I'll be on the internet the day after that. I'll be on the internet the day after that. Uh, I think there's plenty of time. I think it's uh, it's meme shit that I can I can definitely uh, I can get some sympathy points for later in life if I want to. But I don't think right now is the moment. Now I now I under now I understand what happened. Now in a session, you're just a victim. You're just a victim of the system, and that's fine. There's plenty of victims. You won't be the last one, but I know, it won't be me. How am I a victim of what? Nigga, you put in your time and effort on on cottage cheese. 
you put, <laughs> Jesus you put, Christ. You put, you put your time and effort on a, a fucking dead garden, dude. Like, that garden's not fucking springing up, and you put your effort into there. <laughs> I put way more. I'm a, I'm fucked. But you, you have a way to get out, but... Right, listen, I'd rather help someone that's trying to get out of a bad situation than someone that complains about it like you. Oh, you oh shit. Trying to slide in. You oh, think I'm just my thinking God. He's standing as queen. So, wait, real quick. So, you want to talk to the specifics? You going ahead and, like, doing her OnlyFans and putting it all in Google Photo, I've already done that. I have 16 different drives where all of her stuff is that I can literally, she literally has access to. I've offered her even the drive. The problem is she doesn't do the work. She doesn't go in and actually try to do it because she doesn't want to set up her computer. She doesn't actually she didn't actually access the drive. So you going ahead and like spending your entire night, like going ahead and getting all the photos transferred for her, like, oh, puggers, dude. But I'm telling you, that stuff already existed. She just literally was using it for her time. And it's just like an attention because that shit already existed and it was already done. I mean, if you want to, okay. What? Okay, yeah, okay, so it's my What? You retard. <laughs> okay. Thank Christ. Sejan, do you have anything you want to say to us? <clears throat> Look. I don't really know if I have to say anything. <laughs> True. It's... Do you think you're being deceived by Sushia that she's telling you sob stories so that you'll just like take care of her and stuff? No, we talked very frankly about financial stuff yesterday. Yeah, that seems to be the story that about. Darius is trying to spin. He's so, he has self-leaked way more in this conversation than I did. I would disagree on that, but we'll let the audience be the judge. What, what would you disagree with? Oh, I mean, you're the one putting him on blast for his financial situation and everything else, and that seems to be most of the stuff that's come out, besides maybe some dead garden stuff that maybe was a bit too far. Um, I mean, he leaked a lot of, I'd have to go back and listen, but I don't think insinuating that he's bad with money is news. He leaked that you jerked off to Sushi, that's a little weird. I sent him a uh, screenshot of my history. Wait, did you really? Yeah. I mean, just because it's not in your history doesn't mean you haven't done it, because, I mean, <laughs> there's incognito browsers. We want to see the ISP logs. <laughs> Is that a bit much? <laughs> I mean, uh, that's the only way to truly know. But uh, that seems like the most guaranteed way to self-dox myself. Well, I mean, people have met you in person, right? I'm sure it's not that hard to track you down. Mm, I want to make it easier, though. Even I feel like it'd take a fair amount of effort, but I could be wrong. Wow, guys. I was kind of worried that I stand up late for no reason. And well, I have questions for you, too. In that case, in delivered. this case, yeah. if if she's having like a conversation about her finances with Sejin, and some of her finances are tied to Darius in some way, and maybe some of the difficulty of these finances are tied to Darius and like the, the complications of their relationship, is she obligated to just like be silent about it all? Uh, not obligated anything, but there's probably like some level of mutual respect. Okay, stop sitting on the fucking fence. I asked you what do you think the right thing to do or the. You didn't thing ask to me. You asked me if she was obligated. The right thing is probably not to tell that many people because it's kind of. Okay, rude. are you not obligated to do the right thing? No. <laughs> okay. Well, when I ask you, are you obligated? I'm typically asking like in a moral sense. Okay, do you think sorry, that there's gotcha. a moral obligation? Gotcha. What do you think? I mean, like legally. Um. Or I don't know, like, what what ought you do? Otherwise, there's, like, some yeah, level that's of what moral I'm asking, condemnation what that's, like, yeah. <laughs> nigga, you aren't serious, Session. You're not serious, are you, nigga? No way, dude. <sighs> what? Why? No, don't. Ah, you retard as you type shit in chat. You know fucking what you're doing, monkey. What am I doing? What are you talking about? I, you're talking about how I'm dragging other people down with my bad decisions. You unironically know nothing besides what this chick that is unironically just siphoning your attention is telling you. Why are you saying this publicly? Stop talking, you retard. 
I'm telling you that it's not true. And you're just saying it like as it's actual fact. I don't know if you're doing a bit. I'm gonna assume you're not because you're unironically <sighs> when you see me come in. So shut the f up, retard. Jesus fucking, because if I actually talk, I, here's the thing, I have to, you're making it to a point, if you're like, I, cause I see what you're doing. Because you don't wanna like leak the stuff that she said or whatever, I, and, or you don't wanna like talk about her whole thing or whatever, that's fine. If you don't wanna do that, then stop making retarded claims like that where you're taking everything she's saying as 100% factual. Make him take accountability, Sejin. Don't fucking let him get away retard, with that. Fucking retard, dude. You do this shit for Steven and it makes sense, but like, in this situation, you're just like, ah, Darius is a retard because he made fun of me. Kill yourself, idiot. Don't want to get you like that, Sejin. Blow him up. Expose him. Thank you, Nab127, for the 50 bucks, by the way. Sorry, what were you saying, Sejin? Nah, it feels a little too much like punching down. Oh, yeah? Does it? Well, I feel like... I don't know. If this stuff is private, you probably shouldn't be talking about it publicly, Sejin. Nah, he like said it feels like punching down. Like, he's a pathetic f***ing loser. That's what he's saying. Well, at this point, I feel like we need everything on the table. Because I think a lot of us are confused. And if, like, you want people to either vindicate you or fight for you or say that what you did was not wrong or something like that. Like, yeah, because right now, everything. I think everybody's feeling like you're on the wrong. Even though you probably yeah. don't feel like you're on the wrong. Oh, uh, dude, I can't leave. I can't stop. Do you, but Sejin, unironically, because like we don't even have to talk about the specifics, but like based on what she told you, you you don't understand how you're proving my point, right? Like you unironically think I dragged her down. And that's my problem is that you don't know actually what happened, but you have an actual opinion of me. You have an actual opinion of me based on what she said. And that's for me because you don't know me. You don't know me at all. And you don't know any of the, any of the context of everything that's going on. You're just hearing it from her side is and you're still not talking. <laughs> Just, just say you're f***ing wrong. Just say you're f***ing wrong. Just say it. Uh, dude, legit. I hope, I hope you get sick again. And I hope it's longer. A lot longer. Because you know you're f***ing wrong. And you're not going to say it. Uh-oh. You're a bitch, out. dude. Uh-oh. I actually drink cyanide. F*** you. Uh, you know what? I'd like to know if you're wrong, Sejin. I'm okay oh. being seen as a bad guy here. That's fine. I'm okay with oh that. Oh my gosh. Dang. The white knight is coming out. Darius. Anything for his queen? I, I don't know. I mean, I feel like that's as good as an admission. I feel like I got to be on Darius's side at this point. Um, yeah, I'm like a... Mm, probably a bad idea to just keep this dragon on. The truth will set you free. It will. The truth will make all things clear. I mean, it's going to come out. It's just going to be a bunch of vague posts back and forth. Bruh, and just say... bruh, don't say I'm not going to, because I'm telling you right now, literally every, everything unironically that she has probably told you, I unironically have something for. Like, I, it's like, it's, it's like, why even just stop talking? Just actually stop talking unless you want to embarrass her. If you want to embarrass her, fine. But that goes counterproductive to your whole, I'm going to save her uh, thing that you're trying to do with like helping her out with her. OnlyFans shit. It's counterproductive because what I'm going to tell you and I'm going to expose her on is going to probably hurt her way more than it is going to help her. You might have to do that <laughs> at this point, Darius. I think that's the only way to redeem yourself now. Here's Just the calculus, stop. right? If I start talking about shit, right, then obviously Sushia has to come on and defend herself. She didn't really sign up for that. All I'm saying is, I'm telling you, she won't defend herself. I'm telling you, she won't defend herself because she knows she's wrong. That's why she doesn't do this stuff around me and she doesn't let me know about it. That's why she hides this shit from me. That's why she does it when I'm not there. And when I find out it's a big issue because she doesn't have a defense for it. I've dealt with this with 16 different other guys besides you, dude. You're not new. 16 guys? Damn. That's 16, but other men. Plus, if Sushi has to come in and defend herself, maybe that's, you know, she kind of made her own bed there, right? Well, she didn't when I started talking about it. She stopped talking and it was like, mm, I just wasn't the chat. After I told her, I literally messaged her. I was like, listen, don't surround yourself in the spaces that I'm going to be surrounding myself in because if I see you, it's not going to be a fun, pleasant time. Because after last night, I was like, okay, dude, after I found out the thing I told Steven about, that it was like, again, another sus thing after the multiple sus things and really bad things that she's fucking done to me. It, was, it wasn't like, this wasn't a bad thing. No, it wasn't like super bad thing comparatively, whatever. I'm not going to get too in, into it. But it's like, I told her, like, hey, like, don't be in the same surroundings I am because I'm telling you I'm just fucking go off on you because I'm not happy with you can, can you just lay out everything that happened so instead of this like game of people yelling back and forth and he said she said can we just get what happened to no him? just tell Tejan to fucking stop 
Well, I don't he's think not he's going to. He's, he's, like, trying to he's go got the you. upper hand right if now. He would, if, he to, if he just wants to say that he's a sip and that he's just like dick right because he thinks it's a pretty girl, that's fine. But then that goes back to my thing where it's like, okay, yeah, like you saw a girl in here. He's like vulnerable. She like started talking about stuff and he was, he got, he got a little trapped in. It's that easy. I'm telling you, if you're a girl right now, join this call. Talk this session. It'll work. He's literally mm -hmm. cooking you right now, Darius. Okay. We lied, actually. Darius cooked you, Sejin. What do you have to say? I mean, he's wrestling around in the mud, too. He's what? He's wrestling around in the mud, too. True. Maybe uh, if uh, Sushi isn't the one, maybe the next girl. <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> by that? Hell, Rage Pope. God damn. Well, I mean, all I'm saying is that... You know, eventually he'll be able to catch a rebound if he's underneath the basket. Jesus Christ. You want to relax? Jesus Christ. I feel like at this point, the three of you, by your combined actions, have included all of us. Okay, Us in this call, the public, and like we just need to know what the truth is. Oh, we've got Sushi Queen in the room to shed some light on what's going on. Uh... Is she still you know, Darius session? has been saying some real bad shit about you. He said you were a dead garden and that everything's all shriveled up and dead. This is not worth it. Please <laughs> just stop. Just let it die. It's I mean, too late. The yeah, monkey's out of the bottle. Yeah. No, it's not. Stop. Don't I, do I mean, it, it is. He literally called her dead on stream. I don't know what, he else, did call her dead on what stream. else there is to say. I don't know what you can he do. He called her anything. cottage cheese. He did call her cottage cheese. He called you the 17th guy, Sejin. Yeah, he did. That too. Uh, do you have anything to say for yourself? Or are you accepting the allegations, Ushia? She's working right now. Um, I'm oh. off work. I'm driving home. Oh, I'm just shit. in the call because my, I can't, my YouTube isn't loading, so I can't listen to what's going on. Well, R.I.P. Well, do you have any response to being called uh, cottage cheese and uh, a garden of death? Uh, I think Darius that Darius placing? has, you know, every right to be upset, every right to be angry. If this is the way that he wants to express, you know, he's upset with me, then who am I to stop him? Come on, that uh, sounds I like a half apology. You either yes. think you did something wrong or you don't. Uh, so, Sushi, has Sejin subscribed to your OnlyFans? <laughs> nope. Do you have any reason to believe that he's jerked off to you? I mean, you know, she didn't say anything. She didn't say anything that triggered me. Just tell me she didn't. What? I didn't hear. She didn't say anything triggering, did she? Well, if you're not triggered, clearly not. Well, I was like, I was like, I was behind like five seconds. Darius, you don't know what Sushi actually told Sejin, right? You just you just have to make guesses. No, when I came in here, it was like a half joke. Like I didn't really care. It's like I'm just like, oh, like it's like funny. It was funny for a second, and then like I found out that Sejin actually, she was actually telling Sejin actual well, shit. And I'm like, oh, okay, wow, and well, it's my. You, stuff. you don't know what though, right? Not just hers. No, I don't, and I don't really, and I I really didn't fucking care. So it could be the case that everything Sushi has told Sejin is like totally innocuous and like perfectly fair and not defamatory. Yes, but what already is known is indicative of a problem that has already existed between us that has been an issue. And I just realized I'm talking and giving information. I'm, I'm muting him. Don't mute him. The people need to know what's going on. Well, there's on a here. lot of bad blood and it could legitimately just be a complete misunderstanding and like no one has any reason to be upset. But... Or is it? Or maybe people yeah, have well, good reason to be upset. Out. There is no misunderstanding. There is no misunderstanding. And after what Sejin has continuously typed in chat. Oh shit, he's leaking more. Dude, he's leaking everything. I didn't the man is like a shower. What, you, what, in, what did I type in chat that made you pissed off? You typing in chat saying, I just don't like them. People drag other people down. Like you think that's what I did. You're already making a judgment on my own character. And I just I'm making a judgment on your financial decisions. But the financial decisions aren't solely made on me. 
What? So how am I dragging someone down if this financial decisions are not solely made on me? When you about- make a poor financial decision, the people around you suffer. But, yeah, but I, I'm not making this situation. Okay, okay, yes, but in this exact situation, it's not. I'm telling you right now, these decisions are not made solely on me. And I'm not the one purely making these decisions. That Did you lose characters. a lot of money on the stock market there's, or not? There's, I must. A- I mean, retard. I was literally doing a bit, you f- Aspie, why even like actually take that and then try to apply it? Be like, oh, this is what's going on. I literally, when I did the stock market, that was four years ago. Well, so Darius, yeah, so and four years ago, I've, what I lost was about six hundred dollars. Darius, I have a message from a chatter who says you owe him a lot of money. It's a f- retard. If I can send me like you know PayPal, I don't even. It's no Vod Raj. I don't know his email. I send it back to him. Okay, no yeah. more distractions. Listen. Sejin, at this point, what you're doing is called vague posting, and we've got a very firm policy about he's vague not vague, posting. He's not vague posting. He's making an assessment on my character. It's fine. He can vague post what he wants. You're making an assessment on my character, and you're talking about unironically without knowing what's going on. Uh, and then it's like, it's like it fucking sucks for me because like I, because you have this now, this awful judgment on my character because of things she's told you, and I've told you that that's an it, and that's an that's a problem that I've dealt with my a, a while for a while now, and then hearing that from you is like it fucking hurts more. And then like, okay, when I'm like joking about it and then I'm like, oh wow, you actually do know stuff about me. And then you even go further to go and say, oh, well Darius actually is just dragging people down. It's like, okay, well fuck. Well fuck, dude. Like that's your actual unironic thought of me. And I've made it worse because I decided to come here and troll with you, which I wasn't even being serious. But now you're unironically upset because you have this like absolutely negative opinion of me. My negative opinion of you is solely due to your financial decisions. You so, have no unironic this idea so of financial decisions. Sh- no, the thing is that you have actually no idea of what the decisions actually were and actually were made of. You have no idea, my perspective, how any of these things were done. You have no idea, and you don't even know, dog. You don't know this. Told you, I like ah, dude. You're so. This is so fucking frustrating because you don't know. And like I can tell, I can go and I can leak, but it's just gonna make her look bad. But it's like shit that I have actually unironically had to financially do to pick up her decisions. I have been financial like like things that she has not done. Like and it's like it's it's not just like I'm doing everything bad and you have this unironic idea because she told you that and you want to simp for her. Fuck off, dog. I'm not leaking. Like you want me to go into a private call and talk to you about my situation now? That's what you make me have to do because this is what you're saying. Just shut the f- up, you stupid f-ing aspie. Dude, like, if there's one thing we want to know, you want to literally, you unless you literally want to give you a one-on-one to, like tutorial on what the f- happened to life, so that way you can have an actual objective opinion. Sure, but like you, you don't need, you don't need that right now. Like, you, like you could just say like, oh, this is what I heard, and that's fine. But like instead, you're making like an actual opinion of my own fucking character. It's fucking fuck, dude. Fuck you. Jeez. Who got the dog? Why are you seeing this call? You're driving home. Her YouTube what? She's driving home. She's trying to drive you crazy. I'm trying to fucking yeah. talk, but I, I think that Darius has me muted because every time I talk, he just talks over me. No, nobody hears you, dumbass. It's your phone shit. That sounds fine to me. Go ahead. No, you can't hear because any sound makes because any sound makes it so her phone doesn't work through the microphone. Don't gaslight me. I can hear you just fine. Go ahead, Sushi. You couldn't hear her earlier when she said she was talking. I don't have her muted. If you're if you're talking right now, Sushi, I can't hear you. I'm, I wasn't talking. Yeah, I can Sushia, hear you. who got the dog? Why do you f***ing care? Because I'm a big supporter of Trainwrecks TV and I want to make sure that the dog is in good shape. The dog is in good shape. That's all I need to f***ing know, bro. Damn. Ice cold. Sejin, you unironically understand how you're not getting like, like she's not like sitting here defending herself, right? Do you think it's just because I'm like a super supreme smart like manipulator guy? Or do you think it's because I, I was not trying to talk about you negatively when I was talking. I was just trying to explain my financial care. situation and the reason I was doing the things I was doing. I am not tied to you at all when you're talking about these things. And you've done it with other people. And you know you, it's bothered me. And I've told you explicitly, do not talk about my shit with other people. And even because you do this and to other people. And what happens is they get attached to you because you're like, oh, my life is so bad. And it's all because of Gary is. And then they start doing shit like Session does, which is spending their nights doing stuff dedicated to you to support your fucking OnlyFans. Or I didn't whatever. ask. I didn't. I, didn't, I, I wasn't. That wasn't my motivation. Because he felt bad for you. He felt pity. So he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna do it for this like my sweet queen." Because he's a 
fucking retard Sith. Darius, I asked you to join the call last night. I wasn't trying to do know, anything I behind your back. Help. I said he could I... help you out too. Join the call, and you didn't. No, you first off, nigga, help me out with what, nigga? I don't need fucking his help. And like, second off, you didn't say anything about you talking about my personal life to him. You just said join the call. I thought you were having a. Fu I thought you guys were fucking just trolling in here. I was like, okay, whatever. It's twelve o'clock at night. I have work at eight in the morning. I'm gonna go to, to sleep. Why the fuck are you even saying that to me? Okay, because you tried to call me, and so I said, just join our call. So it's my fault, so it's my fault last night you decided to del delete whatever f messages you had with what's his f name, and then go and do all the f shit with f uh, talk about all my f personal life, and then go on for like, not, like, I wasn't talking all about your personal life. You were a Melina, you were a that's all because I didn't join the call. I could have gotten that not to happen if I just would have joined the call. It was like a, it, I literally maybe said like three sentences about you the entire call. I'm so sorry that I did that. Maybe I should have okay, said anything. Just, That's my bad. Maybe, but I yeah, wasn't oh, doing yeah, it to try to be like, you know, interrupting me. I wasn't doing it to try to be malicious, okay? And I'm allowed to have feelings about Melita, okay? That has nothing to do with you. Why are you oh, mad about that? Dude, no one's, that's not the point. The point is that you literally are just like so like attention seeking and it's so annoying. It's so annoying and it's like you okay. get these you get pity from so many people for, for like the dumbest like session unironically like when he like it's like it's it sucks because like as a man i can go up and tell these people all this shit right but i'm not gonna have people be like oh dude i'm gonna go and like go out and do all this stuff for you i'm gonna make you get all good i'm gonna give you all the advice in the world i have to sit here and i just tell people and they're like oh, okay well like here's a constructive thing and, like you know i have my friends that tell me about my so it's my fault yeah. that when i complain about stuff people want to help me it's, because it's, i'm it's biologically not. a woman because no, it's just like, it's just annoying. It's just annoying shit. It's just fucking- But you complain about shit all the time and nobody reaches out to help you, but that means that you're not annoying? I'm just saying that it's annoying. You came in this call to complain I'm about just saying shit, that didn't it's you? I just say, I didn't go in this call complaining about shit. I was doing a fucking meme until I found out that you actually were talking about my situation with people last night. Okay. Well, you don't actually know the extent of that, to which that's true, right? There is like, you're, you're, picking up some inferences based on what people are saying and you're like assuming that these things well, I know because right? if he's saying that my net worth and he's already admitted it afterwards and then he goes on further to go and type in chat and talk about how it's my how I'm the one dragging her down so yeah he's made it worse and now it's ex exponentially worse because he decided to talk like a retard is they're just fucking sitting there and just like being like oh I, I don't fucking understand what's going on maybe Darius might be right instead you spurred out and we're like oh no my queen can't be wrong I can't be wrong she's just a cute ginger hair girl I saw her pussy because she sent me a bunch of nudes like she's pussy dude okay well he was just he was just commenting on a comment you made about like how you lost all your money or whatever no, I, didn't, doing I, made, I, I made I made yeah fucking what's it called I talked about that and then they started talking about my net like what do you think it actually is and it's like a cheeky way because you know they fucking was talking about shit, whatever. And then when I addressed it, he he fucking confirmed it. Oh well, sushi. Did you tell Sejin that Darius was in debt and that he had like negative net worth? I was talking about my personal debt, and I was talking about my personal financial situation, and I had mentioned that Darius and I were in a similar financial situation. Why? 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 Because Why it was relevant. That? It's not relevant. Nothing. Me. I'm not I relevant. I also said that I life. fucking love you. I also talked very highly that's of you. I also that's said we've been in a relationship that's for a long time. I also said that. There is. Let her explain. There is. I don't give a fuck about. There is. Let her. Let her explain. Let's hear her side. It's like it's like I wasn't just in there to try to fucking shit talk you, but that's all you want to hear out of it. And I'm sorry not, that it came not, off like that. That's not what, that was never my intention was to like dude, it's like mouth dude, you. Steven, please, dude. It's like it's like you think that's all I give a fuck about is like you just going in like shit talking like shit like it's just and even if you made like a slide comment and this is now the this is the impression session had of me now after that conversation because of something you decided to do. Even if you made a slide comment, now you changed like some random fucking guy. But I didn't. He knows impression about me entirely because you decided to randomly make bring stuff up and it's not like this is like the only person you've ever done this with it's like a common thing with other people that you've done and that's when it's like okay dude like and then like and especially with like what you've the shit you've done recently like you really want to fucking like sit here and like be like oh well like i talked really like really good about you like you think i fucking give a shit about you like talking i would have rather you just said nothing about me that whole call like in general okay. like i don't know why are you saying okay? Why are you even here? Why are you defending yourself? If every time I have something to say, like why, why? Because why? Uh, Darius, anytime I try to talk, you just cut me off anyway. So it's better to respond with one word answers. Because you telling me has nothing to do with the point of you going ahead and bringing up my personal stuff when you don't need to. And I... Okay, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. You're right. Cool dub.
I am curious why it was relevant to tell Sejin like that, that Darius was in a similar situation. I guess I'm curious like why that needed to be said. Because it didn't. The math didn't check out. I I was trying to explain to him oh, the Darius numbers. Oh, Darius stole from Sushia. He didn't, he didn't understand the numbers. I was just trying to explain it to him because I don't know. I don't yeah. know why. Maybe I shouldn't have trusted this guy. You know, I guess uh, that was my mistake. It sounds like Sejin is implying that Darius stole. From I was him. actually, I was actually talking about how I was in debt to Steven, and then Sejin joined the call, and then was asking like, "Wait, why are you in debt?" And he was trying to like get to the bottom of it. Wait, so hold on. Wait, question. we're getting money from Destiny now? No, I was just, I was just. Oh no, 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 no. She meant she was trying to explain. To hold, no, no, no. Sorry, hold on. You said that sentence weird. You said you were trying to explain why you were in debt to Steven. You meant that you were trying to explain to me why you were in debt, not that you're in debt to me, right? Yes, yes. I'm not in okay. debt to okay. Steven. <laughs> okay. I, we were us three were in a call. I didn't. I didn't just randomly start talking to someone I don't know about my debt because that would be weird. I don't know. Yeah, because that's how I, exactly I think it happened. I think you randomly just brought it up. Like it's like, do you think I'm fucking retarded? Like, do you think I thought like you just randomly started like trauma okay. dumping like out of nowhere so that way you can go that's ahead? That's what and you just said. You said I was just no, trauma I think to get you go attention. ahead. I think what happens is you start talking to people and then you're like, okay, well, I have nothing else to talk about. Let's talk about this shit. And then you fucking go on and well, then that's it's pretty you... heavy on my mind, man. It's like, well, cool, like, but like, I have most of my finances go. Again, again, I have on my mind. It. It's like a huge and again, I have nothing. Again, I have nothing to. You have nothing to talk about my personal shit with. And again, like I said, when this is a common problem, you do with literally. Every I didn't. I wasn't even person. talking about you and, and, like that. I was talking about my okay, situation. Cool, okay, I only well, talked about you when it was relevant to wild. the fucking that's scenario. Awesome. That's wild so that this session. happened so many times that the problem is literally just like, oh, just one offs that I'm overreacting to. And so that's all it is. It's happened so many times that it's all just me just overreacting. I'm People not talking about every time I've ever talked about you in the past. I'm talking about this specific scenario okay, cool. that has set you over the fucking edge. It's not kind of sent me over the fucking edge. You doing multiple you're other things. You're having literally like, a mental breakdown in a fucking you're, voice call with a bunch of people instead of just talking to me. I wasn't having a mental breakdown. Oh. A, okay, and I'm not going to talk to you about it because you're a fucking liar, and you know you're a liar. Like, yeah, like well, I'm not going to. What is she say, lying about, Darius? Like, she, she already fucking knows, dude. I'm not going to like. Am I'm I not going to. Well, I, I know what? that you. I know that you had White your man? message. Like. White man? <laughs> like so what, I'm you know, talking about in this specific scenario. Was I lying? It doesn't matter. I, you don't understand the point. I'm not going to fucking ask you anything when you've proven that you're a liar. That just lies about things based on lasting the conversations we had and things you've done. I'm not going to ask you. I'm not going to give a fuck about your opinion because you lie. And like you literally already are hiding your messages with a specific person thing. because and deleting them to, to keep them away from like other people seeing. Like you're literally just a liar. That's like the, the, it's addicted to this weird like autistic like hiding shit i know what the fuck it is it's retarded you and steven both have this retard like addiction to like being s secret agents with yourselves it's fucking so corny and cringe true wait what did steven do listen like, listen, okay, fuck you. like no no can just explain what i said wait fuck what i said don't bring something else random oh why are you randomly hiding why are you hiding things wait are you talking to me or sushi sushi oh okay why are you hiding things and expecting me to come at you and like ask you for actual thing, like information? What are you saying? Why are you like hiding things and then expecting me? Like when you're actively like trying to hide stuff from me, why are you expect thinking I would even like, I would ask you would be a good idea? Um, yeah, I guess, I guess that's a good point. Okay, then shut up. <laughs> but there is someone else here who is in the same call and who has no reason to I don't you. But I know what happened out of it. I know the impression he got out of me out of the conversation. That's all I care about. I don't give a fuck I about. I wasn't how trying to talk so about you. Maybe you should watch how you talk. I think better. he was just trolling you, bro. I don't think it was like that. Bad. Oh, he wasn't trolling me. That's why he went in the chat and talked about how I dragged you down, and then went and doubled down with it, and then take took it. Yeah, he's just trolling me. He's just trolling me epic style. Dude, you're so retarded. Okay. This shit. Right. Mm -hmm. Sejin, why did you feel the need to uh, not say anything when uh, Sushi was giving you all this personal information? Why did you feel like you needed to be involved? Uh, I generally just help people. Yeah, no other reason? No ulterior motive? Yeah. Uh, has Have you helped anyone else like this? Yes. Uh, can you name any names? Um, how many males have you helped say, like real privately that come around here? I've, I mean, like I can, I don't know if they want to be brought up, 
but I've helped other people, including males. Okay. That's but you can't name a single one right now. I don't want to dox people. You want me to give you their name? Yeah. Were you only like helping me because I'm a? I was not under the impression that you were helping me because I was a woman, no, or you wanted to think your impression me. was you obviously have autism and can't under like understand other people's motives at all. Like the fact that we even had to have that conversation about Paul's intentions on if he wanted to f you or not were so f autistic. Like you, unironically, like here's the thing. Like I can you can go into like actual things you f***ing sped. Like I, I mean, actually, like like. Ice Poseidon was like sending, like, literally inviting you to a hotel in Vegas alone after you were sending him dick, like, sorry, dick pics, nude pictures of yourself. And you're like, I don't think he wants to have sex with me. I don't think he wants to have sex with me. And I'm like, dude, you fucking retard. Like, he obviously wants to fuck you. And you're like, no, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. It's just work to me. Like, no, he wants to, fuck. you're sending nudes and you're telling him, like, oh, what if we hung out together alone? Like, you're like, you obviously don't fucking understand people's intentions exactly how they should be. And we can go into more examples if you want. Like, I can just go down the- Dude, you are just- Don't- Don't fucking talk! Dude. Like, I get so triggered by you talking, because you're so dumb. Yeah, you get really worked up pretty easily. Maybe you should just, like, take a break for it. Maybe you should just, like, not talk, and then I'll chill. So, how did you feel when she sent those nudes to Ice Poseidon? No, wait, Steven, can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? This fucking retard. This retard? Ah, uh, dude, no, actually, no, I- No, dude, oh. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> Um, by the way, immediately, as soon as me and Sejin started talking, he told me that he had a girlfriend and made it very clear that he had a girlfriend who was not interested in me, and I did not think that he was interested in me at all. I didn't think that's why he was talking to me, so... Dude, I can't believe you're actually saying irrelevant information based on the... Yeah, I too bring up my, uh, relationship oh. test when I talk to women. I think it's very important to let them know straight off the bat. Oh, uh, there's a natural way that can come up. That's, yeah, yeah, that's not that big a deal. I, I'm you know, more interested I, I, in the stuff that's being hidden. Yeah, I'm sure you are, buddy. Well, I mean, there's a very specific accusation that you're hiding stuff and that Destiny's hiding stuff, and I'm just uh, like, that sounds interesting. Oh yeah, you. let's all air out our personal lives on stream. Base. Oh, why even come in here? Fuck off, dude. You serve zero purpose. You're sitting, you're, you're sitting in here talking about me. I think I have. I think I have there. a right to fucking sit in here and, and say things if you're gonna you're just sit in here and talk about me. productive though, you're just here. You are unironically <laughs> ruining, ruining the discourse on this, this exact topic. On myself? Like, on myself? Yes, yes, because you keep bringing irrelevant shit like, oh, Sachin actually told me he had a girlfriend, so it's, it's not because like- you're saying he only he, helped me because I'm a girl and he was trying to- I don't actually me, but... want to help you only because you're a girl, but I think you fucking sat there and you made him pity you. That's what I actually think. What I think is you made him pity you by telling him- I wasn't him trying to make anybody pity me. I was just talking about my situation. If my situation's okay, pitiful, well, then that's that, the fucking truth. I don't know what to tell you. Make people, you seem to intrinsically make people pity you, and it constantly seems to be men, and they seem to constantly always want to help you afterwards. And and it seems like it's a fucking weird thing. It's just weird. Okay. So if you guys are only talking about finances, why did Session's girlfriend come up? I asked him about his life and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, and then she wanted to go type. I was curious. Dude, like, oh, you're, yeah? so you're curious about his relationship status? I'm going to dance with literally, like, everybody. It's so cringe, dude. Like, it's so fucking annoying. Like, you're just like, like I'm going to just pretend like, I, like I'm like i jokingly obsessed with them. And then, like, actually, I am actually obsessed with them. But it's like a joke. It's like a joke until, like, they, like, it like, gets to a certain point, dude. Like, it's like, how am I even supposed to, like, give a fuck? Like, about, like, you saying, like, oh, it's like, okay, I just like them as a friend. Like, when you do this thing with, like, everybody, we're like, oh, I'm just, like, jokingly really, like, interested in this person. And you just continue to go on and on and on and on. Okay. I mean, I literally met him yesterday. And I, I just said I, that I, I like talking to him because he was very smart and was helping me, like, talk about things. He was <laughs> giving me ideas about how to get out of my financial situation. I appreciated that from him. Sushi or Sejin, can you guys, can either of you answer why Sejin said that Darius was, was bringing you down? Um, uh, I mean... I can answer oh that. Oh my god, dude, yeah. it's, like, it's like a joke, right? But like, you say like, I feel like... Okay, it's my not god. Darius, quiet. Okay, dude, he, so Sejin's my new favorite person. I wish I could talk to him every day. He is so smart. He changed my life, like, for real, for real. I feel like he could solve all my problems. Darius, we're gonna get the answers you want. Ah! If you be quiet. Ah! 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 I, gave him, I gave him access to all my bank accounts and my camera roll. I'm already attached. He will never escape me. I love him. I'm obsessed with him. Like, here's the thing. Like, it's a joke, and I get it's a joke. But like, here's the thing. Like, you... It's, it's like a playbook for your 
pure fucking spurgy BPD ass where like you like someone as a joke and you do all these things as a joke and then you wait till like some sort of like affection is given by one of the parties, I guess, or maybe you'll just go right into it. And then like, it's not a joke anymore. And it just randomly won't be a joke anymore. And like, I, I am telling you, I joke. I turn down girls all the time that I fucking fuck with and choke around with in fucking DMs. I'm doing a fucking joke. You are not joking. You are actually a fucking sex pest retard. Okay. Ooh, sex pest. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Sejin. Um, you were, you were um, saying about. Can you elaborate? What is sex pest? Well, stop, 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 stop. About why Jer Darius is bringing her down. Oh, I generally. <laughs> I don't, Before I even talk to Sushi, I've always had a really bad, low opinion of Darius. Um, but in general, I, there, there's like a trend of people that I've met in my life that are like, they just make poor decisions and those poor decisions translate into bad financial decisions and yeah, then the people around them suffer. So there's yeah. not like a specific thing. There's not I like take, a specific... I take responsibility for my own financial situation, by the way. She did. Yeah. And she owes up to the mistakes yesterday. You, oh yeah. Oh, she did that. You, blaming you, Gary. you still had the audacity to go and type that shit? you dude you're just a cucking cock dude unironically so there's not like a specific example of what's Darius wrong with doing cucking something what's wrong with bring... cucking what the fuck dude? it's not even funny like you can't joke here's the thing you've actually like mentally my life like you joking isn't funny to me i just like you're just more annoying like like actually like i just wish you didn't make i just wish you would leave like why are you still here still well because she's defending herself because you're just lobbing vague accusations you, you should said just get i'm it on the table. Cheese, and so i'm here to defend um, that I'm not cottage cheese. I'm you actually. Okay, okay. Being... I'm telling you, the longer you're here, the more amped up I'm gonna be. The fact that you're here and you're actually have the like you have the goal to be here, and the more annoyed I'm gonna get, and the more I'm just gonna talk. Okay. I don't know. If that's if that really is what you think is gonna you know help you out in your life and yes, you feel yes, better about yes. the situation, then go for it, man. Maybe, maybe, it seems like maybe. every time you go and have these huge fucking breakdowns, you later regret them. So I don't know why you would think that's, that's a good idea. Lena was actually a good person, but after the things that you've done to me in the last three months alone, you are not. Like, Melina actually had a lot of good things that she did, and one time we had a really bad argument, and it was really fucked up time, and like, that was sucked. That fucking sucked. But I have infinite number of bad things that you've done, and bad times I've had with you, and it's, the, 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 the mental manipulation you have done to me is so beyond even like Steven's autism. Give us an example. Okay. And like I like how you just say okay. You just like sh did you know I feel it? like I feel it's like I've, I've tried. I've given you out to this relationship. I've said I'll leave, and you don't have to be in this relationship anymore. And you kept saying that you wanted to be with me. So I oh, feel like I told myself, dude. I don't. You really, this bitch, dude. I literally was gonna leave after I went to hang out with Melina, and his mother made me go on a trip with her to her like brother's I wedding said it's up to you i said it's up to you what you want to do i don't make your decisions for you man. and in fact they're talking about how i needed to learn forgiveness for her and like a whole bunch of other shit like you okay i don't give a what you didn't tell me nigga but my point is that you manipulated the out of me like that's my point i know you didn't make me do shit you manipulated the out of me then shut off if you're sorry about it off stop defending yourself stop talking no. right now. <laughs> Here's the thing. I can have made I can have made mistakes in the past and acknowledge them and I can acknowledge my mistakes and still defend myself for other things. Just because someone makes mistakes doesn't mean that everything they do is a mistake. Or just because someone has done bad things doesn't mean everything they do is a bad thing. That's why I can sit here and say, yeah, I've done bad things. Yeah, Darius has a right to be upset. Yeah, Darius has a right to go off right now. And still, at the same time, feel like I have the right to be here and the right to defend myself when you're saying okay, things cool. that are untrue. Well, what, okay, cool. Where have you defended yourself so far? Where do you feel like you've really defended yourself? I don't think that I am defending myself. Okay. But you're the one who just said I'm okay, defending then go myself. go away. Because you don't have a right. To, okay, if you have a right to defend yourself, you're not doing it, go away. What else are you doing? Besides doing anymore? more. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I just I think it's ch chill in here. I think it's kind of fun. I don't know. I don't feel like I have anywhere to go. So, Sejin, you said you had a low opinion of Darius because of what he's done on stream, but how did you forgive Sushi for the stuff that she's done on stream? I generally didn't have like a very good opinion of Sushi for the stuff she did on stream, but she's trying to get her act together. And oh! I, I was Darius is trying to get his act together. You know, you know she's trying to get her act together because she sat there and fucking sob storied you for four hours dude let me do that to you for a bit can we have a private call and i can just go ahead and like give it I all i told you to join the call man i told you to join <laughs> you nigga like there's a the problem is like this guy unironically like said just admit you're a pussy bitch
Just admit it. Just say, I am a pussy bitch that will, I believe women. Just say that. Just say, I believe women. Just say that. It's empowering, even. You get points for saying that. Just say, I believe women. Say it. You're saying it in your fing head, cuck. <laughs> you, you, actually, I, I'm muting you. I'm. Darius, are you okay? <clears throat> wow. Powerful stuff, guys. Yeah, I think we can all agree. Fuck you. Why are you still here? Like, why do you have the, like, how, what is in your body? Like after actually, all right, why well, are you still here, Darius? When because, you could have talked to me in private, you could have talked to Sedgwick in private. I never no, you feel the need to air God, things out. Why? Required. So I think that if you I want to air four different men in here right now, that will go ahead and co-sign with you being a pathological liar. Like right now, I can go ahead and do that. Like just stop, just leave me the fuck alone. Like go the fuck away. You go and you fuck into my spaces that I fuck around with to go ahead and troll and like, go and tell them personal shit about me that I now know of. And like, okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and do it too. And now you've gotten me to the point where now I'm actually riled up because I because you're you're in here where I'm gonna leak. Talk I about joined what? because you were already talking. I about left. Me. I left. I left. You, who cares? You don't. You're not defending yourself. So what are you doing here besides being annoying? I guess I'm just being annoying. Guess that's just who I am, according to you. So what do I have to lose, man? Oh, uh, bro. Okay, at this point, you're both in this community, and both of you are going to be in this voice chat, either one at a time or together okay, or something cool, like that. Okay, she's going to get fucking this every time, dude. Every time? From now on, every time Sushi joins, you're going to jump in and just start, like, screaming over her and stuff? Just grieving over her, bro. Oh, how would you describe it? Tell her to go fuck off, dude. <clears throat> wow. Like, it's, do, you, do you actually understand, like, my issue? Like... Like, like, dude, like, gen like, genuinely, like, she, Sushi knows I sit in this space a lot. Sushi knows a lot of times I'm off work. Like, this is what I kind of hang out around in. Her, like, inserting herself into here, like, knowing this is where I, like, interact and shit like that. And just, like, after she knows the shit she's did, she's done to me. She, after she fucking knows. And she's like, ah, oh, dude, like, it's like, I have a right to defend myself and be here. Like, sure you do, but you're not even defending yourself. You're just here literally to instigate me and make me more riled up. I mean, I also have Notable. I've had Notable longer than you. I don't know. <laughs> like, I've also been in this space. I was also in this call ta talking to people the last couple of days. I don't know. Okay. It's frustrating when you talk over me because you know that my mic doesn't pick up when someone else is talking. It works just fine there, so. <clears throat> wow. It sounds like Darius just wants some guarantee that if you guys are both going to be in this space together, that you're not going to, like, say things about him that are going to color people's impression of him. Like I don't think I was trying to paint him in a negative life at all. A negative light. I don't think so. He just wants some guarantee. I was just trying to explain my situation, which has things, like, we've lived together for a long time. Like, our fucking finances are intertwined. Like, I don't... I wasn't trying to talk about him specifically. I was just trying to explain my situation. Who cares? Who cares? I think oh. he just wants some guarantee that in the future if, like, the topic of your finances... Yeah, sure, are... of course. I'm not going to talk oh, about I him will, again, I, I swear. Never, yeah, I already messaged you. I told you, never say my fucking name again in your life. Okay. And I won't. Thank you. Did either of you guys see the menu? Wait, hold on. Sejin. Why are you so mean to Darius on a public call when you wouldn't say the same shit to him when you're talking in private? Like, why do you feel the need to be so performative for the audience? What are you talking about? I mean, I was, I've been told that you had a call with Darius and you were pretty civil, but now that you know you're in front of everybody, you've been saying some shit. Are you talking about, like, in this room on another night? Yeah. Can you explain why you're hiding stuff? Can you explain that? Why, why are both of you little... Tom and Jerry's doing that, dude. Like, what was the boy? What is the point? Like, cause you're you mute the fucking stream, retard. Mute the actual stream. <laughs> Wait, mute Tom and Jerry. He's gonna leak talking. your shit right now, Steven. He's gonna leak your yeah, shit. Actually, actually, fucking mute you, fucking retard. You. Fucking, you're so <laughs> okay, hold on one second.
there, dude. Like, why? Why even, like, try to make turn, turn that on me for a second? Like, how do you have the balls? How do you have the fucking balls? Especially after you literally... Dude, like, I'm like, like do you want me to fucking... Like, dude, I literally, for a whole year straight, was getting gaslit. I, I legit... Like, I, like, it's fucking... It makes me fucking sad, because, like, I've legitimately... I fucking... Met, I've, like, fucked mental issues and trust issues now because of you, dude. Like, I've legitimately, like, fucked issues because you fucking sat there and lied to me, like, so fucking much and gaslit the actual... Out of me. And like you're sitting here, like you actually have the balls to sit here and like defend yourself even for a fucking second, dude. It's like it's actually so. F up. Like actually go f yourself. Sajin, we never got an answer. Why do you? Why are you so mean in front of Dar to Darius in front of everybody, and you're chill with him in front of it? Pussy rider, dude. You have any of the. He said it. He saw what she said. He felt sad. He was like, he related to this fucking shit, dude. Don't even let him fucking talk, dude. He just, he just, because it's just, what literally happens, dude. I'm so triggered now. I'll tell you that Anya Taylor Joy's got the anime eyes. She's just in everything these days. Uh oh, Melina's talking shit in chat now. Judge. Not good. So, do you guys have plans to like move forward to like complete your separation and move on with your lives? Why are you posting sad? Just dumb, dude. Ugh, you're the reason why Melina doesn't even talk to you. F f off! Actually, f off! Okay. Dude, you're such a f***ing annoying c dude! Like, I- uh, Dude, I unironically- Dude, like, you, you don't even f***ing understand. Like, I- I have, like, I have issues where, like, I don't- I don't- Like, I can't f***ing, like, like- Dude, like, I can do f*** you, dude. Just f*** you, man. Just f*** you. Actually, f*** you. Alright. Understandable. Then f*** off if it's understandable! Off, please. I could just sit here and say it's understandable that you're upset with me, and I don't have to leave. I mean, you are instigating him by staying in because you know it's going to make him upset. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to instigate him. Went back in, and then you were started talking, and that's why I came back. You just want to shut the f up because you know you f up. You know you f up. Just don't f talk. Let me have my little bits where I can get my the little satisfaction I can get from like getting dick road a little bit from like talking about whatever the fucking awful shit you did. Let me get it. Let me get that. And then f off. Just let me get the little bit I have from the absolute f that you've given me, and then just f off. Sajin, does your girlfriend know you're talking to an OnlyFans girl? Mm, probably not. No. <laughs> I don't know why I said probably she not. She does not. Does she know you downloaded like 7,000 photos on your computer of some girl's fucking nudes? No, but I don't think she cares. You don't think she cares? How about let's ask her. Let's ask her. Let's do that. Let's ask her, Session. Yeah. No, I'm like you. I don't bring my relationship no, 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 into the public sphere. It's okay. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty smart, actually. A retard, dude. I don't know. I think if she's got 7,000 photos, you should appreciate her work ethic. That's pretty industrious. That's a lot of photos. So what, uh, what are we, uh, what's like the, what's like the plan here? What do you guys want to, what do you guys want to get out of this? Um, I want everybody to sub to my, um, OnlyFans. Wait, so are you guys actually dating or are you guys not dating? Oh, not anymore. Not after <laughs> we are not dating. Why are you in here? Why are you, like, dude, just don't talk. Like, actually, it's like, dude, how is it so, why, why does your voice actually make me, like, angry? Why? Why does it do that? How is it, what is the psychology for that? What is the, what is going on? Dude, you, like, actually, your voice pisses me off. Yeah. And she's laughing at you. Well, I mean, I mean, you, like, you, don't, I mean you don't get to say that she doesn't get to come in here at all, right? Like, ever. 
She can be in here, but do you understand, dude? Like, why are you even com combating me with this stuff right now, dude? Like, you know how f my mental is, dude. Like, I, I literally was I'm, like, I'm not trying. I'm, I'm not trying to combat you, man. I'm not trying to combat you. Fuck off, dude. Legit, fuck off. Like, if you're not I trying, have, I don't have to f off though. I can be <laughs> here. Okay, okay. I'm, but when you explain why, you keep you... saying that you need to defend yourself, but you're not even defending yourself. You're just instigating me. Oh, I feel like I should be in here in case I do need to defend myself. You know what I mean? Also, in case I do talk about something, like I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna do what you did and like just bring stuff up so people can suck my cock. I don't think I've brought anything up publicly at all. Okay. I think I've kept things pretty much under wraps. It's, it's easy for you not to do that when you're the one that's the, you're the you're the f abuser. Yeah, it's real f easy, dude. Okay. So, Sejin, why do you have 7,000 pictures of Circea? Were you, like, her new editor? Oh, God. Hi, Sneeko. Uh, oh, it's Liko. Welcome. Yo. Hey, what's up, buddy? <clears throat> so, uh, how, do you, how would you feel if uh, your girlfriend was uh, in the middle of a messy breakup with you and uh, started telling secrets to uh, one of your friend groups? How would that make you feel? She can tell her friends, it's fine. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to Sneeko. Oh. <laughs> Why are you a little bit autistic about this? What, what were the secrets? You... <clears throat> What'd you so do? She was talking about your financial situation, how you know you didn't actually get that deal with Rumble, and you were, you know, big in debt for uh, all the gambling you did. Damn, all the lifestyle expenses, how would that make you feel? Get your money up, bro. Talking about your feelings on a Destiny stream, that's not really going to fix your problem. True. You need to watch more Andrew Tate videos. <laughs> I need to get the creator kit, bro. Facts. Alright. <laughs> okay. Good job, guys. Free input. I mean, it sounds like she said she won't talk about you anymore. Like, what else do you want, Darius? Well, I think the problem is Darius probably feels like he has a space in this community where he can chill. But if she kind of starts showing up, he probably feels a little awkward. I think that's Darius's problem. And especially when, like, what she does is her MO. This is her MO, dude. She gets in these little communities. She just, like, baits attention. She's like, look at me. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. What guys like me? What guys like me? And then she goes ahead, and then she's like, and it's like, and it's just annoying. Because, like, I'm like, dude, like, literally, like, every single person Sushi has told, like, ever interact with, I know, like, she talks shit about to them, to other people to get their interest. She unironically does this shit where, like, in order to become friends with somebody, she starts shit talking other people. And it's like, it just, like, it, it wigs me out being in this fucking space with her anymore. Because then I'm like, okay, well, if I'm out in voice calls or I'm going to stuff in here I know this is how sushi interacts and if sushi's interacting in here this way then I fucking feel uncomfortable doing it I feel fucking like feel fucking weird and then when I know you're in the, when you're in this space and I'm just like asking you to fuck off because you actually fuck with me and you are incapable of understanding it then it's like okay cool then it's like you just you just didn't learn anything that you fucking did for the past like two years sorry year and a half to me at all and like when you literally all the words that I've spent talking about like hey this shit's fuck like stop doing this just it just went right past your fucking head and I just wasted my fucking time. And it's like it just and it but it fucking sucks, dude. It's it's you have fucking BPD dude. It's a fucking excuse. It's it's whatever, man. So Sajid, why haven't you offered to help Darius? He's an outstanding member of this community. Dude, I unironically, like, I'm never talking to white women again in my f***ing life. Unironically. You, you people have f***ed me brain, my brain. Like, actually. Like, actually. Jeez. R.I.P. Well, you didn't have to get racist with it. Yeah. Hmm. 
I mean, you're not wrong, you know? I definitely think I am hypersexualized, and I definitely use the fact that I'm a woman to get attention on the internet. And, you know, if that's a crime, <laughs> lock me up, because, uh, yeah, no, I definitely do do that. And that's, you know, that would probably be frustrating to anyone in a relationship. So I think he's definitely very valid at being upset. That's, that's the way I act. I was the uh, only fan standing. Not nah, buddy, fuck, dude. Ah, dude. Take my perms or something right now, dude. I can't. Go take her perms. Kick her out. You're not funny. You're actually a fucking abuser, and you're just like fucking trolling. Kill the fuck off, dude. It's not fucking funny. Fuck off. Oh, then. Okay. I have to leave. Okay. Well, listen, That's Darius. Okay. I love you, buddy. It's been fun. I will, um... I'll catch you around, Steve. All right, take care, Darius. Be careful, bud. Sajin, do you have anything else to say for yourself? I don't know, man. I feel if I if I try to find myself, he's, I feel like it's just gonna jump back in here. So I think you guys should be proud of yourselves. That was hood shit. That's how they do things on the mean streets of Silver Springs. Silver Springs. Yeah. Is that a creature of the Black Lagoon reference? No, that's where Darius said he grew up. He said he's from the hood, and then he said he's from Silver Springs, which is like a pretty upscale area. Well. Yeah. God, I want to make a joke so bad. Say it, you know what? Wait, this, about is, just like, this is America. Oh. I think, wait, I think show, that wait. I'm just You're not about to take shots at Darius, right? No, no, of course not. <laughs> okay, go for I, it. I just think I'm the type of person that I just, sometimes when I'm in an uncomfortable situation, I just like to joke about it instead of actually being vulnerable. And unfortunately, that can be frustrating to people. And so maybe I, maybe I won't do that. So why have you come in and out the last few days just coming in and saying meow and leaving? I just think it's silly. I just like to be silly sometimes. Oh, uh -huh. Alright, well, it's getting late. I'm going to hop off. I appreciate the conversation tonight, Destiny. Oh, uh, yeah, it's definitely been one, guys. See you later, Rage Pope. Fuck, I'm always too late. Yeah, wow. Yeah, so, uh... Yeah, what's up, dude? What's up, what's up, man? Things are, uh, pretty wacky. A little wacky, perhaps. Uh, how's, uh, how's life going? Oh, you know, some new developments recently. Gotcha. Well. Uh. Dude, I actually, I wrote the best interview questions to interview Mr. Girl. I thought about these questions. <laughs> I like really thought them out. I was like, oh, these are gonna be such good questions. And then he just kind of went off the deep end, unfortunately. Now those questions will just never be used, sadly. Yeah, he just went off the deep end. Yeah. I don't think it was always Listen, like that. listen, I'm just gonna use this platform right now. Melina, baby, I'm sorry. You know, I never should have gone off on you like that. You're a queen. You know, you're beautiful. I'm so, I'm so sorry, queen. If you ever get really, really desperate, you know, hit me up. I'll be here. No, she's not actually sorry. She's not actually sorry. She called you a dumb whore multiple times. Multiple times and made fun of your sexual partners. She's not actually sorry. Stop talking! Stop fucking talking! You're a fucking liar! 
you know, we had some good times together. We we could do that again. Uh, you're a beautiful woman. Um, you know, if you ever just like, are, you're like really in a deep hole, you need someone, you know, you're really desperate. Just, yeah, hit me up. All right. Well, um, yeah, you guys are doing, uh, God's work in here, so. Yeah. I guess I'm single now. Updates, uh, my life. I'm single. Um, probably not looking for a relationship, though. Not ready to mingle. You know, I have to work through some personal stuff first. Got to work on probably not being like a terrible, bad, evil person. First of all, maybe in the future might be ready to mingle. Hard to say. You know, people can grow. People can change. Can I grow and change? Maybe. You know, I hope so. So that's like, that's where I'm at right now. Well, I'm sure you're going to have an excited fan base that's uh, cheering for your development. Yeah. Um, yeah, well. Who is in the wrong? Darius or Sejin or Sushia? Um, there's a lot of stuff that is happening. Um... Uh, damn, I really don't want to get involved in any of this shit, okay? Things are not as they seem <laughs> with with some people, okay? I'll just say that much, okay? You never know. Be careful with all these internet people. They're really crazy, all right? Okay, one, two. Okay, I just need iron. Stop vague posting? Um, no, just leave it at that. Listen, everybody online is a little crazy, all right? The more online you are, the more crazy you are. 